Psalm 1 Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the Torah of Yahuwah, and in his Torah he meditates day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that brings forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. The wicked are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For Yahuwah knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. Psalm 2 Why do the heathen rage, and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against Yahuwah and against his Mashiach saying, Let us break their bands asunder, and cast away their cords from us. He that sits in the heavens shall laugh, Yahuwah shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree Yahuwah has said unto me, You are my son, this day have I begotten you. Ask of me, and I shall give you the heathen for your inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron, you shall dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve Yahuwah with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Psalm 3 Yahuwah, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, There is no help for him in Elohim. Salah, but you, O Yahuwah, are a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto El Yahuwah with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. Salah, I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for Yahuwah sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Yahuwah, save me, O Elohai, for you have smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. You ha have broken the teeth of the wicked. Yeshua belongs unto Yahuwah. Your blessing is upon your people. Salah. Psalm 4 Hear me when I call, O Elohai of my righteousness. You have enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me, and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity, and seek after falsehood? Salah. But know that Yahuwah has set apart him that is holy for himself. Yahuwah will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe, and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed, and be still. Salah. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness, and put your trust in Yahuwah. There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Yahuwah, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart, more than in the time that their grain and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. For you, Yahuwah, only make me dwell in safety. Psalm 5 Give ear to my words, O Yahuwah. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my Elohim, for unto you will I pray. My voice shall you hear in the morning, O Yahuwah, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto you, and will look up. For you are not an El that has pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with you. The foolish shall not stand in your sight, you hate all workers of iniquity. You shall destroy them that speak falsehood, Yahuwah will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into your house in the multitude of your mercy, and in your fear will I worship toward your holy temple. Lead me, O Yahuwah, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth, their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulcher, they flatter with their tongue. Destroy them, O Elohim, let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against you. But let all those that put their trust in you rejoice. 
Let them ever shout for joy, because you defend them. Let them also that love your name be joyful in you. For you, Yahuwah, will bless the righteous. With favor you will compass him as with a shield. Psalm 6 O Yahuwah, rebuke me not in your anger, neither chasten me in your hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, O Yahuwah, for I am weak. O Yahuwah, heal me, for my bones are vexed. My soul is also sore vexed, but you, O Yahuwah, how long? Return, O Yahuwah, deliver my soul. O save me for your mercy's sake. For in death there is no remembrance of you. In Sheol, who shall give you thanks? I am weary with my groaning. All the night make I my bed to swim. I water my couch with my tears. My eye is consumed because of grief. It waxes old because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. For Yahuwah has heard the voice of my weeping. Yahuwah has heard my supplication. Yahuwah will receive my prayer. Let all my enemies be ashamed and sore vexed. Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. Psalm 7 O Yahuwah Elohai, in you do I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me, and deliver me, lest he tear my soul like a lion, rending it in pieces, while there is none to deliver. O Yahuwah Elohai, if I have done this, if there be iniquity in my hands, if I have rewarded evil unto him that was at peace with me, yea, I have delivered him that without cause is my enemy. Let the enemy persecute my soul and take it. Yea, let him tread down my life upon the earth and lay my honor in the dust. Selah. Arise, O Yahuwah, in your anger. Lift up yourself because of the rage of my enemies and awake for me to the judgment that you have commanded. So shall the assembly of the people compass you about. For their sakes, therefore, return you on high. Yahuwah shall judge the people. Judge me, O Yahuwah, according to my righteousness and according to my integrity that is in me. O oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just, for the righteous Elohim tries the hearts and minds. My defense is of Elohim, which saves the Yasharai in heart. Elohim judges the righteous, and El is angry with the wicked every day. If he turn not, he will wet his sword. He has bent his bow and made it ready. He has also prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordains his arrows against the persecutors. Behold, he travails with iniquity, and has conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood. He made a pit and dug it, and has fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. I will praise Yahuwah according to his righteousness and will sing praise to the name of Yahuwah Elyon. Psalm 8 O Yahuwah Adonainu, how excellent is your name in all the earth! Who has set your glory above the Shemaim? Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings have you ordained strength because of your enemies, that you might still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your Shemaim, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what is man, that you are mindful of him, and the son of Adam, that you visit him? For you have made him a little lower than Elohim, and have crowned him with glory and honor. You made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the paths of the seas. O Yahuwah Adonainu, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Psalm 9 I will praise you, O Yahuwah, with my whole heart. I will show forth all your marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O El Elyon. When my enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at your presence. For you have maintained my right and my cause. You sat in the throne judging right. You have rebuked the heathen, you have destroyed the wicked, you have put out their name for ever and ever. O enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end, and you have destroyed cities, their memorial is perished with them. But Yahuwah shall endure for ever, 
He has prepared his throne for judgment, and he shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. Yahuwah also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know your name will put their trust in you, for you, Yahuwah, have not forsaken them that seek you. Sing praises to Yahuwah, which dwells in Zion. Declare among the people his doings. When he makes inquisition for blood, he remembers them. He forgets not the cry of the humble. Have mercy upon me, O Yahuwah. Consider my trouble, which I suffer of them that hate me, you that lift me up from the gates of death, that I may show forth all your praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. I will rejoice in your Yeshua. The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made, and the net which they hid is their own foot taken. Yahuwah is known by the judgment which he executes. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Hegayan, Selah. The wicked shall be turned into Sheol, and all the nations that forget Elohim. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Yahuwah, let not man prevail. Let the heathen be judged in your sight. Put them in fear, O Yahuwah, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Salah. Psalm 10 Why stand you afar off, O Yahuwah? Why hide you yourself in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride persecutes the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasts of his heart's desire, and blesses the covetous whom Yahuwah abhors. The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after Elohim. Elohim is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Your judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffs at them. He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sits in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places he murders the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. He lies in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lies in wait to catch the poor. He catches the poor when he draws him into his net. He crouches and humbles himself, that the poor may fall by his strong ones. He has said in his heart, El has forgotten. He hides his face. He will never see it. Arise, O Yahuwah, O El, lift up your hand, forget not the humble. Wherefore does the wicked contemn Elohim? He has said in his heart, You will not require it. You have seen it, for you behold mischief and spite. To requite it with your hand, the poor commits himself unto you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness till you find none. Yahuwah is king for ever and ever. The heathen are perished out of his land. Yahuwah, you have heard the desire of the humble. You will prepare their heart. You will cause your ear to hear, to judge the fatherless and the oppressed, that the man of the earth may no more oppress. Psalm 11 In Yahuwah put I my trust. How say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? For lo, the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the string, that they may privily shoot at the Yasharayan heart. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Yahuwah is in his holy temple, Yahuwah's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try, the children of men. Yahuwah tries the righteous, but the wicked and him that loves violence his soul hates. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous, Yahuwah loves righteousness. His countenance beholds the upright. Psalm 12 Help, Yahuwah, for the righteous man ceases, for the faithful fail from among the children of men. They speak vanity, every one with his neighbor. With flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak. Yahuwah shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaks proud things. Who have said, With our tongue will we prevail, our lips are our own, who is Adon over us? For the oppression of the poor, for the sighing of the needy, now will I praise, says Yahuwah. 
I will set him in safety from him that puffs at him. The words of Yahuwah are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. You shall guard them, O Yahuwah. You shall watch over them from this generation forever. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Psalm 13 How long will you forget me, O Yahuwah, forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Yahuwah Elohai. Lighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemies say, I have prevailed against him, and those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your Yeshua. I will sing unto Yahuwah, because he has dealt bountifully with me. Psalm 14 The fool has said in his heart, There is no Yahuwah. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that does good. Yahuwah looked down from the Shemaim upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek Yahuwah. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that does good. No, not one. Have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge? who eat up my people as they eat bread, and call not upon Yahuwah. There were they in great fear, for Yahuwah is in the generation of the righteous. Ye have shamed the counsel of the poor, because Yahuwah is his refuge. O oh, that the Yeshua of Yasharel were come out of Zion! When Yahuwah brings back the captivity of his people, Yaakov shall rejoice, and Yasharel shall be glad. Psalm 15 Yahuwah, who shall abide in your tabernacle? Who shall dwell in your holy hill? He that walks uprightly and works righteousness, and speaks the truth in his heart. He that backbites not with his tongue, nor does evil to his neighbor, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a vile person is contemned. But he honors them that fear Yahuwah. He that swears to his own hurt and changes not, he that puts not out his money to usury, nor takes reward against the innocent, he that does these things shall never be moved. Psalm 16 Guard me, O El, for in you do I put my trust. O my soul, you have said unto Yahuwah, you are my Yahuwah, my goodness extends not to you, but to the Kodeshim that are in the earth, and to the excellent in whom is all my delight. Their sorrows shall be multiplied that hasten after another Elohim. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. Yahuwah is the portion of my inheritance and of my cup. You maintain my lot. The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless Yahuwah who has given me counsel. My mind also instructs me in the night seasons. I have set Yahuwah always before me, because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoices, my flesh also shall rest in hope. For you will not leave my soul in Sheol, neither will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You will show me the path of life, and your presence is fullness of joy, at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 17 Hear the right, O Yahuwah, attend unto my cry, give ear unto my prayer that goes not out of feigned lips. Let my sentence come forth from your presence, let your eyes behold the things that are equal. You have proved my heart, you have visited me in the night, you have tried me and shall find nothing, I am purpose that my mouth shall not transgress. Concerning the works of men, by the word of your lips I have kept me from the paths of the destroyer. Hold up my goings in your cycles, that my footsteps slip not. Have I called upon you, for you will hear me, O El, incline your ear unto me, and hear my speech. Show your marvelous loving kindness, O you that save by your right hand them which put their trust in you from those that rise up against them. Guard me as the apple of the eye, hide me under the shadow of your wings from the wicked that oppress me, from my deadly enemies who compass me about. They are enclosed in their own fat, with their mouth they speak proudly. They have now compassed us in our steps, they have set their eyes bowing down to the earth. 
like as a lion that is greedy of his prey, and as it were a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, O Yahuwah, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is your sword, from men which are your hand, O Yahuwah, from men of the world, which have their portion in this life, and whose belly you fill with your hid treasure. They are full of children, and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. As for me, I will behold your face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with your likeness. Psalm 18 I will love you, O Yahuwah, my strength. Yahuwah is my rock and my fortress, and my deliverer, my El, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my Yeshua, and my high tower. I will call upon Yahuwah, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of wicked men made me afraid. The sorrows of Sheol compassed me about, the snares of death prevented me. In my distress I called upon Yahuwah, and cried unto my Elohim. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled, the foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken, because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils, and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the Shemaim also, and came down, and darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a carob, and did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His sukkah round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness that was before him his thick clouds passed hailstones and coals of fire. Yahuwah also thundered in the heavens, and El Elyon gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he shot out lightnings and discomforted them. Then the channels of waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered at your rebuke, O Yahuwah, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. He sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but Yahuwah was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Yahuwah rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands has he recompensed me. For I have guarded the ways of Yahuwah and have not wickedly departed from my Elohim. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also upright before him, and I guarded myself from my iniquity. Therefore has Yahuwah recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyesight. With the merciful you will show yourself merciful. With an upright man you will show yourself upright. With the pure you will show yourself pure, and with the froward you will show yourself froward. For you will save the afflicted people, but will bring down high looks. For you will light my candle, Yahuwah Elohai will enlighten my darkness. For by you I have run through a troop, and by my Elohim have I leaped over a wall. As for El, his way is perfect, the word of Yahuwah is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is a loa save Yahuwah, or who is a rock save our Elohim? It is El that girds me with strength, and makes my way perfect. He makes my feet like hinds feet, and sets me upon my high places. He teaches my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. You have also given me the shield of your salvation, and your right hand has held me up, and your gentleness has made me great. You have enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. I have pursued my enemies, and overtaken them. Neither did I turn again till they were consumed. I have wounded them that way, that they were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet, for you have girded me with strength unto the battle. You have subdued under me those that rose up against me. You have also given me the necks of my enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto Yahuwah, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind, I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. You have delivered me from the strivings of the people, and you have made me the head of the heathen. 
a people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. Yahuwah lives, and blessed be my rock, and let the Elohim of my Yeshua be exalted. It is El that avenges me, and subdues the people under me. He delivers me from my enemies, yea, you lift me up above those that rise up against me. You have delivered me from the violent man, therefore will I give thanks unto you, O Yahuwah, among the heathen, and sing praises unto your name. Great deliverance gives he to his king, and shows mercy to his anointed to David and to his seed forevermore. Psalm 19 The Shemaim enumerate the glory of El, and the firmament shows his handiwork. Day unto day utter speech, and night unto night shows knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them has he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the Shemaim, and his circuit unto the ends of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The Torah of Yahuwah is perfect, restoring the soul. The testimony of Yahuwah is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of Yahuwah are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of Yahuwah is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of Yahuwah is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of Yahuwah are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey in the honeycomb. Moreover by them is your servant warned, and in guarding of them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse me from secret faults. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me, then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Yahuwah, my strength and my Redeemer. Psalm 20 Yahuwah hear you in the day of trouble. The name of the Elohai of Yaakov defend you. Send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. Remember all your offerings, and accept your ascending smoke sacrifice. Salah. Grant you according to your own heart, and fulfill all your counsel. We will rejoice in your Yeshua, and in the name of our Elohim, we will set up our banners. Yahuwah fulfill all your petitions. Now know I that Yahuwah saves his anointed. He will hear him from his holy Shemaim with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of Yahuwah Eloheinu. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Save, Yahuwah, let the king hear us when we call. Psalm 21 The king shall joy in your strength, O Yahuwah, and in your Yeshua, how greatly shall he rejoice. You have given him his heart's desire and have not withheld the request of his lips. Selah. For you prevent him with the blessings of goodness. You set a crown of pure gold on his head. He asked life of you, and you gave it him, even length of days forever and ever. His glory is great in your Yeshua. Honor and majesty have you laid upon him. For you have made him most blessed forever. You have made him exceeding glad with your countenance. For the king trusts in Yahuwah, and through the mercy of El Elyon he shall not be moved. Your hand shall find out all your enemies. Your right hand shall find out those that hate you. You shall make them as a fiery oven in the time of your anger. Yahuwah shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their fruit shall you destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the children of men. For they intended evil against you, they imagined a mischievous device which they are not able to perform. Therefore shall you make them turn their back, when you shall make ready your arrows upon your strings against the face of them. Be exalted, Yahuwah, in your own strength, so we will sing and praise your power. Psalm 22 Eli, Eli, 
Why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me and from the words of my roaring? O oh, Elohai, I cry in the daytime, but you hear not, and in the night season, and am not silent, but you are holy. O oh, you that inhabit the praises of Yasharel, our fathers trusted in you. They trusted, and you did deliver them. They cried unto you, and were delivered. They trusted in you, and were not confounded. But I am a worm, and no man, a reproach of men, and despised of the people. All they that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip, they shake the head, saying, He trusted on El Yahuwah that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him, seeing he delighted in him. But you are he that took me out of the womb. You did make me hope when I was upon my mother's breasts. I was cast upon you from the womb. You are my El from my mother's belly. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have compassed me, strong bulls of Bashan have beset me around. They gaped upon me with their mouths, as a ravening and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, it is melted in the midst of my belly. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue cleaves to my jaws, and you have brought me into the dust of death. For dogs have compassed me, the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me, they pierced my hands and my feet. I may tell all my bones, they look and stare upon me, they part my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. But be not far from me, O Yahuwah, O my strength, haste you to help me, deliver my soul from the sword, my darling from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, for you have heard me from the horns of the unicorns. I will declare your name unto my brethren. In the midst of the assembly will I praise you. Ye that fear Yahuwah, praise him. All ye the seed of Yaakov, glorify him and fear him. All ye the seed of Yasharel. For he has not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted. Neither has he hid his face from him. But when he cried unto him, he heard. My praise shall be of you in the great assembly. I will pay my vows before them that fear him. The meek shall eat and be satisfied. They shall praise Yahuwah that seek him. Your heart shall live forever. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto El Yahuwah. And all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before you. For the kingdom is Yahuwah's and he is the governor among the nations. All, that, all they that be fat upon earth shall eat and worship. All they that go down to the dust shall bow before him, and none can keep alive his own soul. A seed shall serve him, it shall be accounted to Yahuwah for a generation. They shall come and shall declare his righteousness unto a people that shall be born that he has done this. Psalm 23 Yahuwah is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the cycles of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of Yahuwah forever. Psalm 24 The earth is Yahuwah's, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of Yahuwah, or who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from Yahuwah, and righteousness from the Elohim of his Yeshua. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek your face, O Yaakov, Salah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? Yahuwah, strong and mighty, Yahuwah, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? Yahuwah Sabaoth. He is the King of glory. Salah. Psalm 25 
Unto you, O Yahuwah, do I lift up my soul. O Elohai, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on you be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me your ways, O Yahuwah. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the Elohim of my Yeshua. On you do I wait all the day. Remember, O Yahuwah, your tender mercies and your loving kindnesses, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to your mercy, remember me for your goodness sake, O Yahuwah. Good and upright is Yahuwah, therefore will he teach sinners in the way. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of Yahuwah are mercy, and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Yahuwah, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that fears Yahuwah? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of Yahuwah is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever toward El Yahuwah, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn unto me and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. O oh, bring me out of my distresses. Look upon my affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. Consider my enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. O oh, guard my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on you. Redeem Yasharel, O Elohim, out of all his troubles. Psalm 26 Judge me, O Yahuwah, for I have walked in my integrity. I have trusted also in Yahuwah, therefore I shall not slide. Examine me, O Yahuwah, and prove me. Try my mind and my heart. For your loving kindness is before my eyes, and I have walked in your truth. I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I go in with dissemblers. I have hated the assembly of evildoers, and will not sit with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocency, so will I compass your altar, O Yahuwah, that I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving, and tell of all your wondrous works. Yahuwah, I have loved the habitation of your house, and the place where your honor dwells. Gather not my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloody men, in whose hands is mischief, and their right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in my integrity. Redeem me, and be merciful unto me. My foot stands in an even place, in the assemblies will I bless Yahuwah. Psalm 27 Yahuwah is my light and my Yeshua. Whom shall I fear? Yahuwah is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of Yahuwah, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of Yahuwah all the days of my life to behold the beauty of Yahuwah, and to inquire in his temple. For in the day of evil he shall hide me in his sukkah, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me, he shall set me up upon a rock, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me, therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto Yahuwah. Hear, O Yahuwah, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When you said, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto you, Your face, Yahuwah, will I seek. Hide not your face far from me, put not your servant away in anger. You have been my help, leave me not, neither forsake me, O Elohai of my Yeshua. When my father and my mother forsake me, then Yahuwah will take me up. Teach me your way, O Yahuwah, and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are rising up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of Yahuwah in the land of the living. Wait on El Yahuwah, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on El Yahuwah. 
Psalm 28 Unto you will I cry, O Yahuwah, my rock. Be not silent to me, lest if you be silent to me I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto you, when I lift up my hands towards your holy oracle. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands. Render to them their desert. Because they regard not the works of Yahuwah, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be Yahuwah, because he has heard the voice of my supplications. Yahuwah is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song will I praise him. Yahuwah is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed them also and lift them up forever. Psalm 29 Give unto Yahuwah, O ye mighty, give unto Yahuwah glory and strength. Give unto Yahuwah the glory due unto his name. Worship Yahuwah in the beauty of holiness. The voice of Yahuwah is upon the waters. The El of glory thunders. Yahuwah is upon many waters. The voice of Yahuwah is powerful. The voice of Yahuwah is full of majesty. The voice of Yahuwah breaks the cedars. Yea, Yahuwah breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes them also to skip like a calf. Lebanon and Shiran like a young unicorn. The voice of Yahuwah divides the flames of fire. The voice of Yahuwah shakes the wilderness. Yahuwah shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of Yahuwah makes the hinds to calf, and discovers the forests, and in his temple everyone speaks of his glory. Yahuwah sits upon the flood, yea, Yahuwah sits king forever. Yahuwah will give strength unto his people, Yahuwah will bless his people with peace. Psalm 30 I will extol you, O Yahuwah, for you have lifted me up, and have not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Yahuwah Elohai, I cried unto you, and you have healed me. O Yahuwah, you have brought up my soul from Sheol, you have kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto Yahuwah, O ye Hakid, of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endures but a moment, in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And in my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. Yahuwah, by your favor you have made my mountain to stand strong. You did hide your face, and I was troubled. I cried to you, O Yahuwah, and unto Yahuwah I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise you? Shall it declare your truth? Hear, O Yahuwah, and have mercy upon me. Yahuwah, be my helper. You have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. To the end that my glory may sing praise to you and not be silent. O Yahuwah, Elohai, I will give thanks unto you forever. Psalm 31 In you, O Yahuwah, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be my strong rock for a house of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me. For you are my strength. Into your hand I commit my ruach. You have redeemed me, O Yahuwah, El of truth. I have hated them that regard lying vanities. But I trust in El Yahuwah. I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy. For you have considered my trouble, you have known my soul in adversities, and have not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a large room. Have mercy upon me, O Yahuwah, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with grief, yea, my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my iniquity, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all my enemies but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to my acquaintance, they that did see me without fled from me. I am forgotten as a dead man out of mine. I am like a broken vessel, for I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side. 
While they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life. But I trusted in you, O Yahuwah. I said, You are my Elohim. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from them that persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant. Save me for your mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Yahuwah, for I have called upon you. Let the wicked be ashamed and let them be silent in Sheol. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Oh, how great it is your goodness, which you have laid up for them that fear you, which you have wrought for them that trust in you before the sons of men. You shall hide them in the secret of your presence from the pride of man. You shall keep them secretly in a sukkah from the strife of tongues. Blessed be Yahuwah, for he has showed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my supplications when I cried unto you. O love, Yahuwah, all ye hakid, for Yahuwah preserves the faithful and plentifully rewards the proud doer. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in Yahuwah. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom Yahuwah imputes not iniquity, and in whose ruach there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into the drought of summer. Selah. I acknowledged my sin unto you, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto Yahuwah, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. Salah. For this shall everyone that is holy pray unto you in a time when you may be found. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come nigh unto him. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall compass me about with songs of deliverance. Salah. I will instruct you and teach you in the way which you shall go. I will guide you with my eye. Be ye not as the horse or as the mule which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with bit and bridle, lest they come near unto you. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusts in Yahuwah, mercy shall compass him about. Be glad in Yahuwah, and rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Psalm 33 Rejoice in Yahuwah, O ye righteous, for praise is comely for the Yasharim. Praise Yahuwah with harp, sing unto him with the psaltery and an instrument of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song, play skillfully with a loud noise. For the word of Yahuwah is right, and all his works are done in truth. He loves righteousness and judgment, the earth is full of the goodness of Yahuwah. By the word of Yahuwah were the Shemaim made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea together as a heap. He lays up the depth in storehouses. Let all the earth fear Yahuwah. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. Yahuwah brings the counsel of the heathen to naught. He makes the devices of the people of no effect. The counsel of Yahuwah stands forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose Elohim is Yahuwah and the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. Yahuwah looks from the Shemaim. He beholds all the sons of men. From the place of his habitation he looks upon all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashions their hearts alike. He considers all their works. There is no king saved by the multitude of a host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. A horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. Behold, the eye of Yahuwah is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for Yahuwah, he is our help and our shield, for our heart shall rejoice in him, because we have trusted in his holy name. Let your mercy, O Yahuwah, be upon us, according as we hope in you. Psalm 34 I will bless Yahuwah at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in Yahuwah. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. 
O oh, magnify Yahuwah with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought Yahuwah, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him, and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and Yahuwah heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of Yahuwah encamps round about them that fear him, and delivers them. O oh, taste, and see that Yahuwah is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. O oh, fear Yahuwah ye his Kodeshim, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek Yahuwah shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me, I will teach you the fear of Yahuwah. What man is he that desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of Yahuwah are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of Yahuwah is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and Yahuwah hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles. Yahuwah is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saves such as be of a contrite ruach. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahuwah delivers him out of them all. He guards all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. Yahuwah redeems the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Psalm 35 Plead my cause, O Yahuwah, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler, and stand up for my help. Draw out also the spear, and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am your Yeshua. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as chafe before the wind, and let the angel of Yahuwah chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of Yahuwah persecute them. For without cause they have hid from me their net in a pit which without cause they have dug for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at, an, at unawares, and let his net that he has hid catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in Yahuwah. It shall rejoice in his Yeshua. All my bones shall say, Yahuwah, who is like unto you, which deliver the poor from him that is too strong for him, yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoils him. False witnesses did rise up. They laid to my charge things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer returned into my own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourns for his mother. But in my adversity they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yea, the abjects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not. They did tear me and ceased not. With hypocritical mockers and feasts they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Yahuwah, how long will you look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling from the lions. I will give you thanks in the great assembly. I will praise you among much people. Let not them that are my enemies wrongfully rejoice over me, neither, neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yea, they opened their mouth wide against me, and said, Aha, aha, our eye has seen it. This you have seen, O Yahuwah, keep not silence. O Yahuwah, be not far from me. Stir up yourself, and awake to my judgment even unto my cause, my Elohim and my Yahuwah. Judge me, O Yahuwah Elohai, according to your righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so would we have it. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at my hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, Let Yahuwah be magnified, which has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long. Psalm 36 
transgression of the wicked says within my heart that there is no fear of Elohim before his eyes, for he flatters himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He is left off to be wise and to do good. He devises mischief upon his bed. He sets himself in a way that is not good. He abhors not evil. Your mercy, O Yahuwah, is in the Shemaim, and your faithfulness reaches unto the clouds. Your righteousness is like the great mountains. Your judgments are a great deep. O Yahuwah, you preserve man and beast. How excellent is your loving kindness, O Elohim! Therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of your wings. They shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of your house, and you shall make them drink of the river of your pleasures. For with you is the fountain of life, and your light shall we see light. O oh, continue your loving kindness unto them that know you, and your righteousness to the Yasharai in heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me, and let not the hand of the wicked remove me. There are the workers of iniquity fallen, they are cast down and shall not be able to rise. Psalm 37 Fret not yourself because of evildoers, neither be envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. Trust in Yahuwah and do good, so shall you dwell in the land, and truly you shall be fed. Delight yourself also in Yahuwah, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way unto Yahuwah, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth your righteousness as the light, and your judgment as the noonday. Rest in Yahuwah, and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man who brings wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself in any wise to do evil, for evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon Yahuwah shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, you shall diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plots against the just, and gnashes upon him with his teeth. Yahuwah shall laugh at him, for he sees that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword, and have bent their bow, to cast down the poor and needy, and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart, and their bow shall be broken. A little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but Yahuwah upholds the righteous. Yahuwah knows the day of the upright, and, in, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of Yahuwah shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume, into smoke shall they consume away. The wicked borrows and pays not again, but the righteous shows mercy and gives. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by Yahuwah, and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for Yahuwah upholds him with his hand. I have been young, and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful, and lends, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil, and do good, and dwell forevermore. For Yahuwah loves judgment, and forsakes not his hakid. They are guarded forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land, and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaks wisdom, and his tongue talks of judgment. The Torah of his Elohim is in his heart, none of his steps shall slide. The wicked watches the righteous, and seeks to slay him. Yahuwah will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on El Yahuwah and guard his way, and he shall exalt you to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, you shall see it. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yea, I saw him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the Yasharai, for the end of that man is peace. The transgressors shall be destroyed together, the end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of Yahuwah. He is their strength in the time of trouble. And Yahuwah shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Psalm 38 
O Yahuwah, rebuke me not in your wrath, neither chasten me in your hot displeasure, for your arrows stick fast in me, and your hand oppresses me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your anger, neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities are gone over my head, as a heavy burden they are too heavy for me. My wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. I am troubled, I am bowed down greatly, I go mourning all the day long. For my loins are filled with a loathsome disease, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and sore broken, I have roared by reason of the disquietness of my heart. Yahuwah, all my desire is before you, and my groaning is not hid from you. My heart pants, my strength fails me. As for the light of my eyes, it also is gone from me. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from my sore, and my kinsmen stand afar off. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me, and they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things, and imagine deceits all the day long. But I, as a deaf man, heard not, and I was as a dumb man that opens not his mouth. Thus I was as a man that hears not, and in whose mouth are no reproofs. For in you, O Yahuwah, do I hope. You will hear, O Yahuwah Elohai. For I said, Hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. When my foot slips, they magnify themselves against me. For I am ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity, I will be sorry for my sin. But my enemies are lively, and they are strong, and they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. They also that render evil for good are my adversaries, because I follow the thing that good is. Forsake me not, O Yahuwah Elohai, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Yahuwah, my Yeshua. Psalm 39 I said, I will take heed to my ways, that I sin not with my tongue. I will guard my mouth with a bridle, while the wicked is before me. I was dumb with silence, I held my peace even from good, and my sorrow was stirred. My heart was hot within me, while I was musing the fire burned. Then spoke I with my tongue, Yahuwah, make me to know my end and the measure of my days, what it is that I may know how frail I am. Behold, you have made my days as a hand breath, and my age is as nothing before you. Truly every man in his best state is altogether vanity. Salah. Surely every man walks in a vain show, surely they are disquieted in vain. He heaps up riches and knows not who shall gather them. And now, Yahuwah, what wait I for? My hope is in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Make me not the reproach of the foolish. I was dumb. I opened not my mouth, because you did it. Remove your stroke away from me. I am consumed by the blow of your hand. When you with rebukes do correct man for iniquity, you make his beauty to consume away like a moth. Surely every man is vanity. Salah. Hear my prayer, O Yahuwah, and give ear unto my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears, for I am a stranger with you and a sojourner, as all my fathers were. O oh, spare me, that I may recover strength, before I go hence, and be no more. Psalm 40 I waited patiently for Yahuwah, and he inclined unto me, and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. And he has put a new song in my mouth, even praise under our Elohim. Many shall see it in fear, and shall trust in Yahuwah. Blessed is that man that makes Yahuwah his trust, and respects not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Yahuwah Elohai, are your wonderful works which you have done, and your thoughts which are to usward. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto you. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you have prepared me as ascending smoke offering and sin offering have you not required. Then said I, Lo, I come, in the rolls of the sephir it is written of me. I delight to do your will, O Elohai. Yea, your Torah is within my heart. I have preached righteousness in the great assembly. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, O Yahuwah. You know. I have not hid your righteousness within my heart. I have declared your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness and your truth from the great assembly. Withhold not you your tender mercies from me, O Yahuwah. Let your loving kindness and your truth continually preserve me, for innumerable evils have compassed me about. My iniquities have taken hold upon me, so that I am not able to look up. 
They are more than the hairs of my head, therefore my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Yahuwah, to deliver me. O Yahuwah, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and confounded together that seek after my soul to destroy it. Let them be driven backward and put to shame that wish me evil. Let them be desolate for a reward of their shame that say unto me, Aha, aha. Let all those that seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let such as love your Yeshua say continually, Yahuwah be magnified. But I am poor and needy, yet Yahuwah thinks upon me. You are my help and my deliverer. Make no tarrying, O Elohim. Psalm 41 Blessed is he that considers the poor. Yahuwah will deliver him in the day of evil. Yahuwah will guard him and keep him alive, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. And you will not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. Yahuwah will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing. You will make all his bed in his sickness. I said, Yahuwah, be merciful unto me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My enemies speak evil of me. When shall he die and his name perish? And if he come to see me, he speaks vanity. His heart gathers iniquity to itself. When he goes abroad, he tells it. All that hate me whisper together against me. Against me do they devise my hurt. An evil disease, say they, cleaves fast unto him. And now that he lies, he shall rise up no more. Yea, my own familiar friend, in whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. But you, O Yahuwah, be merciful unto me, and raise me up, that I might requite them. By this I know that you favor me, because my enemy does not triumph over me. And as for me, you uphold me in my integrity, and set me before your face forever. Blessed be Yahuwah Elohai of Yasharel from everlasting to, to everlasting. Amen and Amen. Psalm 42 As the deer pants after the water brooks, so pants my soul after you, O Elohim. My soul thirsts for Elohim, for the living El. When shall I come and appear before Elohim? My tears have been my meat day and night, while they continually say unto me, Where is your Elohim? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me, for I had gone with the multitude. I went with them to the house of Elohim, with a voice of joy and praise, with a multitude that kept feast day. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted in me? Hope in Elohim, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. O Elohai, my soul is cast down within me, therefore will I remember you from the land of Yarden, and of the Sermonim from the hill Mitzar. Deep calls unto deep at the noise of your water spouts, all your waves and your billows are gone over me. Yet Yahuwah will command his loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night his song shall be with me, and my prayer unto the El of my life. I will say unto El my rock, Why have you forgotten me? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As with a sword in my bones, my enemies reproach me, while they say daily unto me, Where is your Elohim? Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in Elohim, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my Elohim. Psalm 43 Judge me, O Elohim, and plead my cause against an unholy nation. O oh, deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man, for you are the Elohai of my strength. Why do you cast me off? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? O oh, send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me unto your holy hill and to your tabernacles. Then will I go unto the altar of Elohim, unto El my exceeding joy. Yea, upon the harp will I praise you, O Elohim, Elohai. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in Elohim, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my Elohim. Psalm 44 We have heard with our ears, O Elohim. Our fathers have told us what work you did in their days and in the times of old. How you did drive out the heathen with your hand and planted them. How you did afflict the people and cast them out. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword. Neither did their own arm save them, but your right hand and your arm, and the light of your countenance, because you had a favor unto them. You are my king, O Elohim. Command deliverances for Yaakov. Through you will we push down our enemies. Through your name will we tread them under that rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. 
But you have saved us from our enemies, and have put them to shame that hated us. In Elohim we boast all the day long, and praise your name forever. Salah. But you have cast off, and put us to shame, and go not forth with our armies. You make us to turn back from the enemy, and they which hate us spoil for themselves. You have given us like sheep appointed for meat, and have scattered us among the heathen. You sell your people for naught, and do not increase your wealth by their price. You make us a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and a derision to them that are round about us. You make us a byword among the heathen, a shaking of the head among the people. My confusion is continually before me, and the shame of my face has covered me. For the voice of him that reproaches and blasphemes by reason of the enemy and avenger. All this has come upon us, yet have we not forgotten you, neither have we dealt falsely in your covenant. Our heart is not turned back. Neither have our steps declined from your way, though you have sore broken us in the place of dragons, and covered us with the shadow of death. If we have forgotten the name of our Elohim, or stretched out our hands to a strange El, shall not Elohim search this out? For he knows the secrets of the heart. Yea, for your sake are we killed all the day long, we are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, why sleep you, O Yahuwah? Arise, cast us not off for ever. Wherefore, hide you your face, and forget our affliction and our oppression. For our soul is bowed down to the dust, our belly cleaves unto the earth. Arise for our help, and redeem us for your mercy's sake. Psalm 45 My heart is indicting a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made touching the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. You are fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured into your lips. Therefore Elohim has blessed you forever. Gird your sword upon your thigh, O Most Mighty, with your glory and your majesty, and in your majesty ride prosperously because of truth and meekness and righteousness, and your right hand shall teach you terrible things. Your arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies, whereby the people fall under you. Your throne, O Elohim, is forever and ever. The scepter of your kingdom is a right scepter. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, Elohim, your Elohim, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. All your garments smell of myrrh and aloes and acacia, out of the ivory palaces, whereby they have made you glad. King's daughters were among your honorable women. Upon your right hand did stand the queen in gold of Ophir. Hearken, O daughter, and consider, and incline your ear. Forget also your own people and your father's house. So shall the king greatly desire your beauty, for he is your Adonai, and worship him. And the daughter of Zor shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor. The king's daughter is all glorious within. Her clothing is of wrought gold. She shall be brought unto the king in raiment of needlework. The virgins, her companions that follow her, shall be brought unto you. With gladness and rejoicing shall they be brought. They shall enter into the king's palace. Instead of your father shall be your children, whom you may make princes in all the earth. I will make your name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore shall the people praise you forever and ever. Psalm 46 Elohim is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will we not fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Salah. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of Elohim, the holy place of the tabernacles of El Elyon. Elohim is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. Elohim shall help her, and that right early. The heathen raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. Yahuwah Sevaoth is with us, the Elohai of Yaakov is our refuge, Salah. Come, behold the works of Yahuwah, what desolations he has made in the earth. He makes wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in sunder. He burns the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am Elohim. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Yahuwah Sevaoth is with us. The Elohai of Yaakov is our refuge. Salah. Psalm 47 O clap your hands, all ye people, 
showed unto Elohim with a voice of triumph. For Yahuwah Elyon is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. He shall choose our inheritance for us, the excellency of Yaakov whom he loved. Selah. Elohim is gone up with a shout, Yahuwah with the sound of a shofar. Sing praises to Elohim, sing praises. Sing praises unto our king, sing praises. For Elohim is the king of all the earth. Sing ye praises with understanding. Elohim reigns over the heathen. Elohim sits upon the throne of his holiness. The princes of the people are gathered together, even the people of the Elohai of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong unto Elohim. He is greatly exalted. Psalm 48 Great is Yahuwah, and greatly to be praised, in the city of our Elohim, even upon his holy mountain. Mount Zion, lying northward, is beautiful in elevation. It is the joy of the whole earth, and the city of the great king. Elohim is known in her palaces for a refuge. For lo, the kings were assembled. They passed by together. They saw it, and so they marveled. They were troubled and hasted away. Fear took hold upon them there, and pain as of a woman in travail. You break the ships of Tarshish with an east wind. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of Yahuwah Sebaoth, in the city of our Elohim. Elohim will establish it forever. Selah. We have thought of your loving kindness, O Elohim, in the midst of your temple, according to your name, O Elohim, so is your praise unto the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Yehuda be glad because of your judgments. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Count the towers thereof. Mark ye well her bulwarks. Consider her palaces, that ye may tell it to the generation following. For this Elohim is our Elohim for ever and ever. He will be our guide, even unto death. Psalm 49 Hear this, all ye people. Give ear, all ye inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor, together. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. I will incline my ear to a parable. I will open my dark saying upon the harp. Wherefore should I fear in the days of evil, when the iniquity of my heels shall compass me about? They that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to Elohim a ransom for him. For the redemption of their soul is precious, and it ceases forever, that he should still live forever and not see corruption. For he sees that wise men die, Likewise the fool and the brutish person perish, and leave their wealth to others. Their inward thought is, that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless, man being in honor abides not. He is like the beasts that perish. This their way is their folly, yet their posterity approve their sayings. Salah. Like sheep they are laid in Sheol. Death shall feed on them, and the Yasharim shall have dominion over them in the morning, and their beauty shall consume in Sheol from their dwelling. But Elohim will redeem my soul from the power of Sheol, for he shall receive me, Salah. Be not afraid when one is made rich, when the glory of his house is increased. For when he dies he shall carry nothing away, his glory shall not descend after him. Though while he lived he blessed his soul, and men will praise you when you do well to yourself. He shall go to the generation of his fathers. They shall never see light. Man that is in honor, and understands not, is like the beasts that perish. Psalm 50 El Elohim, even Yahuwah, has spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, Elohim has shined. Our Elohim shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth, that he may judge his people. Gather my hakid, together unto me those that have cut a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for Elohim is judge himself. Salah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Yasharel, and I will testify against you. 
I am Elohim, even your Elohim. I will not reprove you for your sacrifices or your ascending smoke offerings to have been continually before me. I will take no bullock out of your house, nor he goats out of your folds, for every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know all the fowls of the mountains and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine and the fullness thereof. Will I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer unto Elohim thanksgiving, and pay your vows unto El Elyon, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. But unto the wicked, Elohim says, What have you to do to declare my statutes, or that you should take my covenant in your mouth? Seeing you hate instruction and cast my words behind you, when you saw a thief, then you consented with him, and have been partaker with those who break wedlock. You give your mouth to evil, and your tongue frames deceit. You sit and speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's son. These things have you done, and I kept silence. You thought that I was altogether such one as yourself, but I will reprove you, and set them in order before your eyes. Now consider this, ye that forget Eloah, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoso offers praise glorifies me, and to him that orders his conversation aright will I show the Yeshua of Elohim. Psalm 51 have mercy upon me, O Elohim, according to your loving kindness, according unto the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned, and done this evil in your sight, that you might be justified when you speak, and be clear when you judge. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part you shall make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and bottle all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O Elohim, and renew a right ruach within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your ruach hakadesh from me. Restore unto me the joy of your Yeshua, and uphold me with your free Ruach. Then will I teach transgressors your way, and sinners shall be turned back unto you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O Elohim, Elohai of my Yeshua, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Yahuwah, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you desire not sacrifice, else would I give it. You delight not in ascending smoke offering. The sacrifices of Elohim are a broken ruach, a broken and a contrite heart. O Elohim, you will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure unto Zion. Build the walls of Yerushalayim. Then shall you be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with ascending smoke offering and whole ascending smoke offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon your altar. Psalm 52 Why boast you yourself in mischief, O mighty man? The goodness of El endures continually. Your tongue devises mischiefs, like a sharp razor working deceitfully. You love evil more than good, and lying rather than to speak righteousness. Salah. You love all devouring words, O you deceitful tongue. El shall likewise destroy you forever. He shall take you away, and pluck you out of your dwelling place, and root you out of the land of the living. Salah. The righteous also shall see, and fear, and shall laugh at him. Lo, this is the man that made not Elohim his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches, and strengthened himself in his wickedness. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of Elohim. I trust in the mercy of Elohim forever and ever. I will praise you forever because you have done it, and I will wait on your name, for it is good before your hakid. Psalm 53 The fool has said in his heart, There is no Yahuwah. Corrupt are they, and have done abominable iniquity. There is none that does good. Yahuwah looked down from heaven upon the children of men, to see if there were any that did understand, that did seek Yahuwah. Every one of them is gone back. They are altogether become filthy. There is none that does good. No, not one. Have the workers of iniquity no knowledge? Who eat up my people as they eat bread? They have not called upon Elohim. 
There were they in great fear, where no fear was, for Yahuwah has scattered the bones of him that encamps against you. You have put them to shame, because Yahuwah has despised them. O oh, that the Yeshua of Yasharel were come out of Zion! When Elohim brings back the captivity of his people, Yaakov shall rejoice, and Yasharel shall be glad. Psalm 54 Save me, O Elohim, by your name, and judge me by your strength. Hear my prayer, O Elohim, give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers are risen up against me, and oppressors seek after my soul. They have not set Elohim before them. Salah. Behold, Elohim is my helper. Yahuwah is with them that uphold my soul. He shall reward evil unto my enemies. Cut them off in your truth. I will freely sacrifice unto you. I will praise your name, O Yahuwah, for it is good. For he has delivered me out of all trouble, and my eye has seen his desire upon my enemies. Psalm 55 Give ear to my prayer, O Elohim, and hide not yourself from my supplication. Attend unto me, and hear me. I mourn in my complaint, and make a noise. Because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked, for they cast iniquity upon me, and in wrath they hate me. My heart is sore pain within me, and the terrors of death are fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling are come upon me, and horror has overwhelmed me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove! For then would I fly away and be at rest. Lo, then would I wander far off and remain in the wilderness. Salah. I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. Destroy, O Yahuwah, and divide their tongues, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go about it upon the walls thereof, mischief also and sorrow in the midst of it. Wickedness is in the midst thereof, deceit and guile depart not from her streets. For it was not an enemy that reproached me, then I could have borne it. Neither was it he that hated me that did not magnify himself against me, then I would have hid myself from him. But it was you, a man, my equal, my guide, and my acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together, and walked unto the house of Elohim in company. Let death seize upon them, and let them go down quick into Sheol, for wickedness is in their dwellings and among them. As for me, I will call upon Elohim and Yahuwah shall save me. Evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. He has delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me, for there were many with me. El shall hear and afflict them, even he that abides of old, Salah, because they have no changes, therefore they fear not Elohim. He has put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He has broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, War was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Cast your burden upon Yahuwah, and he shall sustain you. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. But you, O Elohim, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in you. Psalm 56 Be merciful unto me, O Elohim, for man would swallow me up. He fighting daily oppresses me. My enemies would daily swallow me up, for they be many that fight against me, O El Elyon. What time I am afraid, I will trust in you. In Elohim I will praise his word, in Elohim I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Every day they rest my words, all their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather themselves together, they hide themselves, they mark my steps, when they wait for my soul. Shall they escape by iniquity? In your anger cast on the people, O Elohim. You tell my wanderings, put my tears into your bottle. Are they not in your suffer? When I cry unto you, then shall my enemies turn back. This I know, for Elohim is for me. In Elohim will I praise his word. In Yahuwah will I praise his word. In Elohim have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Your vows are upon me, O Elohim. I will render praises unto you. For you have delivered my soul from death. Will not you deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before Elohim in the light of the living? Psalm 57 Be merciful unto me, O Elohim, be merciful unto me, for my soul trusts in you, yea, in the shadow of your wings will I make my refuge, until these calamities be overpassed. I will cry unto El Elyon, unto El that performs all things for me. He shall send from the Shemaim, 
and save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. Selah. Elohim shall send forth his mercy and his truth. My soul is among lions, and I lie even among them that are set on fire, even the sons of men whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue a sharp sword. Be exalted, O Elohim, above the Shemaim, let your glory be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my steps, my soul is bowed down, they have dug a pit before me, into the midst whereof they are fallen, themselves. Salah. My heart is fixed, O Elohim, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Awake up, my glory, awake. Psaltery and harp, I myself will awake early. I will praise you, O Yahuwah, among the people. I will sing unto you among the nations. For your mercy is great unto the Shemaim, and your truth unto the clouds. Be exalted, O Elohim, above the Shemaim. Let your glory be above all the earth. Psalm 58 Do ye indeed speak righteousness, O assembly? Do ye judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Yea, in heart ye work wickedness, ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb, they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stops her ear, which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely. Break their teeth, O Elohim, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Yahuwah. Let them melt away as waters which run continually. When he bends his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as cut in pieces. As a snail which melts, let every one of them pass away, like the untimely birth of a woman, that they may not see the sun. Before your pots can feel the thorns, he shall take them away as with a whirlwind, both living and in his wrath. The righteous shall rejoice when he see the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, so that a man shall say, Truly there is a reward for the righteous. Truly his, he is an Elohim that judges in the earth. Psalm 59 Deliver me from my enemies, O Elohai. Defend me from them that rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity, and save me from the bloody men. For, lo, they lie in wait for my soul. The mighty are gathered against me, not for my transgression, nor for my sin, O Yahuwah. They run and prepare themselves without my fault. Awake to help me, and behold. You, therefore, O Yahuwah Elohim, Sevaoth, the Elohai of Yasharel, awake to visit all the heathen. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressors. Salah. They return at evening, they make a noise like a dog, and go round about the city. Behold, they belch out with their mouth, swords are in their lips, for who, say they, hears? But you, O Yahuwah, shall laugh at them, you shall have all the heathen in derision, because of his strength will I wait upon you, for Elohim is my defense. The Elohai of my mercy shall prevent me, Elohim shall let me see my desire upon my enemies. Slay them not, lest my people forget. Scatter them by your power, and bring them down, O Yahuwah, our shield. For the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips, let them even be taken in their pride, and for cursing and lying which they speak. Consume them in wrath, consume them, that they may not be, and let them know that Elohim rules in Yaakov unto the ends of the earth. Salah. And at evening let them return and let them make a noise like a dog, and go round about the city. Let them wander up and down for meat, and grudge if they be not satisfied. But I will sing of your power, yea, I will sing aloud of your mercy in the morning, for you have been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. Unto you, O my strength, will I sing, for Elohim is my defense and the Elohai of my mercy. Psalm 60 O Elohim, you have cast us off, you have scattered us, you have been displeased. O oh, turn yourself to us again. You have made the earth to tremble, you have broken it. Heal the breaches thereof, for it shakes. You have showed your people hard things. You have made us to drink the wine of astonishment. You have given a banner to them that fear you, that it may be displayed because of the truth. Salah. That your beloved may be delivered, say with your right hand, and hear me. Elohim has spoken in his holiness, I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem and meet out the valley of Sukkoth. Galad is mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the strength of my head. 
Yehuda is my Torah giver. Moab is my washpot. Over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Pelasheth, triumph you because of me. Who will bring me into this strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Will not you, O Elohim, which had cast us off, and you, O Elohim, which did not go out with our armies? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through Elohim we shall do valiantly, for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. Psalm 61 Hear my cry, O Elohim, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been a shelter for me, and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in your tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of your wings. Salah. For you, O Elohim, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those that fear your name. You will prolong the king's life and his years as many generations. You shall abide before Elohim forever. O prepare mercy and truth which may preserve him. So will I sing praise unto your name forever, that I may daily perform my vows. Psalm 62 Truly my soul waits upon Elohim. From him comes my Yeshua. He only is my rock and my Yeshua. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. How long will ye imagine mischief against a man? You shall be slain all of you, as a bowing wall shall ye be, and as a tottering fence. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies, they bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. Salah. My soul, wait you only upon Elohim, for my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my Yeshua. He is my defense, I shall not be moved. And Elohim is my Yeshua and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in Elohim. Trust in him at all times, ye people. Pour out your heart before him. Elohim is a refuge for us, Salah. Surely men of low degree are vanity, and men of high degree are a lie. To be laid in the balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity. Trust not in oppression, and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. Elohim has spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongs unto Elohim. Also unto you, O Yahuwah, belong mercy, for you render to every man according to his work. Psalm 63 O Elohim, you are my El, early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you, my flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see your power and your glory, so as I have seen you in the sanctuary. Because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus will I bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. And my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed, and meditate on you in the night watches. Because you have been my help. Therefore, in the shadow of your wings will I rejoice. My soul follows hard after you. Your right hand upholds me. But those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in Elohim. Everyone that swears by him shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. Psalm 64 Hear my voice, O Elohim, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, Who shall see them? They search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. But Elohim shall shoot at them with an arrow, suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves, all that see them shall flee away. And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of Elohim, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in Yahuwah and shall trust in him. And all the Yasharai in heart shall glory. Psalm 65 Praise waits for you, O Elohim, in Zion, and unto you shall the vow be performed. 
O ye that hear prayer, unto you shall all flesh come. Iniquities prevail against me, as for our transgressions you shall purge them away. Blessed is the man whom you choose, and cause to approach unto you, that he may dwell in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, even of your holy temple. By terrible things and righteousness will you answer us, O Elohai of our Yeshua, who are the confidence of all the ends of the earth, and of them that are far off upon the sea which by his strength sets fast the mountains, being girded with power, which stills the noise of the seas, the noise of their waves, and the tumult of the people. They also that dwell in the uttermost parts are afraid at your tokens. You make the outgoings of the morning and evening to rejoice. You visit the earth and water it. You greatly enrich it with the river of Elohim, which is full of water. You prepare them grain when you have so provided for it. You water the ridges thereof abundantly. You settle the furrows thereof. You make it soft with showers. You bless the springing thereof. You crown the year with your goodness, and your cycles drop fatness. They drop upon the pastures of the wilderness, and the little hills rejoice on every side. The pastures are clothed with flocks. The valleys also are covered over with grain. They shout for joy. They also sing. Psalm 66 Make a joyful noise unto Elohim, all ye lands. Sing forth the honor of his name, make his praise glorious. Say unto Elohim, How terrible are you in your works! To the greatness of your power shall your enemies submit themselves unto you. All the earth shall worship you, and shall sing unto you. They shall sing to your name, Silah. Come and see the works of Elohim. He is terrible in his doing toward the children of men. He turned the sea into dry land. They went through the flood on foot. There did we rejoice in him. He rules by his power forever. His eyes behold the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. Salam. So o bless our Elohim, ye people, and make the voice of his praise to be heard, which holds our soul in life and suffers not our feet to be moved. For you, O Elohim, have proved us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the net. You laid affliction upon our loins. You have caused men to ride over our heads. We went through them fire and through water, but you brought us out into a wealthy place. I will go into your house with ascending smoke offerings. I will pay you my vows, which my lips have uttered and my mouth has spoken when I was in trouble. I will offer unto you ascending smoke sacrifices of fatlings. With the incense of rams, I will offer bullocks with goats. Selah. Come and hear all ye that fear Elohim, and I will declare what he has done for my soul. I cried unto him with my mouth, and he was extolled with my tongue. If I regard iniquity in my heart, Yahuwah will not hear me, but truly Elohim has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be Elohim, which has not turned away my prayer nor his mercy from me. Psalm 67 Elohim, be merciful unto us, and bless us, and cause his face to shine upon us. Selah that your way may be known upon earth, your Yeshua, among all nations. Let the people praise you, O Elohim. Let all the people praise you. O let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you shall judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Salah. Let the people praise you, O Elohim. Let all the people praise you. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and Elohim, even our own Elohim, shall bless us. Elohim shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Psalm 68 Let Elohim arise, let his enemies be scattered, let them also that hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of Elohim. But let the righteous be glad, let them rejoice before Elohim, yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. Sing unto Elohim sing praises to his name. Extol him that rides upon the heavens by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. A father of the fatherless and a judge of the widows is Elohim in his holy habitation. Elohim sets the solitary in families. He brings out those which are bound with chains, but the rebellious dwell in a dry land. O Elohim, when you went forth before your people, when you did march through the wilderness, Salah, the earth shook, the heavens also dropped at the presence of Elohim. 
Even Sinai itself was moved at the presence of Elohim, the Elohai of Yasharel. You, O Elohim, did send a plentiful rain, whereby you did confirm your inheritance when it was weary. Your assembly has dwelt therein. You, O Elohim, have prepared of your goodness for the poor. Yahuwah gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. Kings of armies did flee apace, and she that tarried at home divided the spoil. Though ye have lion among the pots, yet shall ye be as the wings of a dove covered with silver, and her feathers with gold of yellow. When El Shaddai scattered kings in it, it was white as snow in Selma. The hill of Elohim is as the hill of Bashan, a high hill as the hill of Bashan. Why leap ye, ye high hills? This is the high hill which Elohim deserves to dwell in. Yea, Yahuwah will dwell in it forever. The chariots of Elohim are twenty thousand, even thousands of angels. Yahuwah is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. You have ascended on high. You have led captivity captive. You have received gifts for men, yea, for the rebellious also, that Yah Elohim might dwell among them. Blessed be Yahuwah, who daily loads us with benefits, even the El of our Yeshua, Salah. He that is our Elohim is the El of Yeshua, and unto Yahuwah Adonai belong the issues from death. But Elohim shall wound the head of his enemies, and the hairy scalp of such one as goes on still in his transgressions. Yahuwah said, I will bring again from Basham, I will bring my people again from the depths of the sea, that your foot may be dipped in the blood of your enemies, and the tongue of your dogs in the same. They have seen your goings, O Elohim, even the goings of my El, my King, in the sanctuary. The singers went before, the players on instruments followed after, among them were the damsels playing with timbrels. Bless ye Elohim in the assemblies, even Yahuwah, from the fountain of Yasharel. There is little Binyamin with their ruler, the princes of Yehuda and their council, the princes of Zebulun and the princes of Naphtali. Your Elohim has commanded your strength. Strengthen, O Elohim, that which you have wrought for us. Because of your temple at Yerushalayim shall kings bring presents unto you. Rebuke the company of spearmen, the multitude of the bulls with the calves of the people, till everyone submit himself with pieces of silver. Scatter you the people that delight in war. Princes shall come out of Mitzrayim. Cush shall soon, Cush shall soon stretch out her hands unto Elohim. Sing unto Elohim, ye kingdoms of the earth. O sing praises unto Yahuwah. Salah. To him that rides upon the Shemaim of Shemaim, which were of old, lo, he sends out his voice, and that a mighty voice. Ascribe ye strength unto Elohim. His excellency is over Yasharel, and his strength is in the clouds. O Elohim, you are terrible out of your holy places. The El of Yasharel is he that gives strength and power unto his people. Blessed be Elohim. Psalm 69 Save me, O Elohim. For the waters are come in unto my soul. I sink in deep mire, where there is no standing. I am come into deep waters, where the floods overflow me. I am weary of my crying, my throat is dried. My eyes fail while I wait for my Elohim. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. They that would destroy me, being my enemies wrongfully, are mighty. Then I restored that which I took not away. O Elohim, you know my foolishness, and my sins are not hid from you. Let not them that wait on you, O Adonai Yahuwah Sebaoth, be ashamed for my sake. Let not those that seek you be confounded for my sake, O Elohai of Yasharel, because for your sake I have borne reproach. Shame has covered my face. I am become a stranger unto my brethren, and an alien unto my mother's children. For the zeal of your house has eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproached you are fallen upon me. When I wept, I chastened my soul with fasting, that was to my reproach. I made sackcloth also my garment, and I became a proverb to them. They that sit in the gate speak against me, and I was the song of the drunkards. But as for me, my prayer is unto you, O Yahuwah, in an acceptable time, O Elohim, in the multitude of your mercy hear me in the truth of your Yeshua. Deliver me out of the mire, and let me not sink. Let me be delivered from them that hate me, and out of the deep waters. Let not the water flood overflow me, neither let the deep swallow me up. 
and let not the pit shut her mouth upon me. Hear me, O Yahuwah, for your loving kindness is good. Turn unto me according to the multitude of your tender mercies, and hide not your face from your servant, for I am in trouble. Hear me speedily. Draw nigh unto my soul and redeem it. Deliver me because of my enemies. You have known my reproach and my shame and my dishonor. My adversaries are all before you. Reproach has broken my heart, and I am full of heaviness. And I looked for some to take pity, but there was none, and for comforters, but I found none. They gave me also gall for my meat, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let their table become a snare before them, and that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. Let their eyes be darkened, that they see not, and make their loins continually to shake. Pour your indignation upon them and let your wrathful anger take a hold of them. Let their habitation be desolate, and let none dwell in their tents. For they persecute him who you have smitten, and they talk to the grief of those whom you have wounded. Add iniquity unto their iniquity, and let them not come into your righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the sephir of the living, and not be written with the righteous. But I am poor and sorrowful. Let your Yeshua, O Elohim, set me up on high. I will praise the name of Elohim with a song, and will magnify him with thanksgiving. This also, also shall please Yahuwah better than an ox or bullock that has horns and hooves. The humble shall see this and be glad, and your heart shall live that seek Elohim. For Yahuwah hears the poor, and despises not his prisoners. Let the heavens and earth praise him, the seas and everything that moves therein. For Elohim will save Zion, and will build the cities of Yehuda, that they may dwell there and have it in possession. The seed also of his servants shall inherit it, and they that love his name shall dwell therein. Psalm 70 Make haste, O Elohim, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Yahuwah. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion that desire my hurt. Let them be turned back for a reward of their shame that say, Aha, aha. Let all those that seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let such as love your Yeshua say continually, Let Elohim be magnified. But I am poor and needy. Make haste unto me. O Elohim, you are my help and my deliverer. O Yahuwah, make no tarrying. Psalm 71 In you, O Yahuwah, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in your righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline your ear unto me and save me. Be my strong habitation whereunto I may continually resort. You have given commandment to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O Elohai, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. For you are my hope, O Adonai Yahuwah. You are my trust from my youth. By you have I been held up from the womb. You are he that took me out of my mother's belly. My praise shall be continually of you. I am as a wonder unto many, but you are my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with your praise and with your honor all the day. Cast me not off in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. For my enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together, saying Elohim has forsaken him persecute and take him, for there is none to deliver him. O Elohim, be not far from me. O Elohai, make haste for my help. Let them be confounded and consumed that are adversaries to my soul. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor that seek my hurt. But I will hope continually and will yet praise you more and more. My mouth shall show forth your righteousness and your Yeshua all the day. For I know not the numbers thereof. I will go in the strength of Adonai Yahuwah. I will make mention of your righteousness, even of yours only. O Elohim, you have taught me from my youth, and hitherto have I declared your wondrous works. Now also when I am old and gray-headed, O Elohim, forsake me not, until I have showed your strength unto this generation, and your power to everyone that is to come. Your righteousness also, El Elohim, is very high. Who has done great things, O Elohim, who is like unto you? You, which have showed me great and sore troubles, shall quicken me again, and shall bring me up again from the depths of the earth. You shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. I will also praise you with a psaltery, even your truth, O Elohai. 
Unto you will I sing with the harp, O Holy One of Yasharel. My lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing unto you, and my soul which you have redeemed. My tongue also shall talk of your righteousness all the day long, for they are confounded, for they are brought unto shame that seek my hurt. Psalm 72 Give the king your judgments, O Elohim, and your righteousness unto the king's son. He shall judge your people with righteousness, and your poor with judgment. The mountains shall bring peace to the people, and the little hills by righteousness. He shall judge the poor of the people. He shall save the children of the needy, and shall break in pieces the oppressor. They shall fear you as long as the sun and moon endure, throughout all generations. He shall come down like rain upon the mown grass, as showers that water the earth. In his day shall the righteous flourish, and abundance of peace so long as the moon endures. He shall have dominion also from sea to sea, and from the river unto the ends of the earth. They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him, and his enemies shall lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of the isles shall bring presents. The kings of Shiva and Seva shall offer gifts. Yea, all kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall serve him, for he shall deliver the needy when he cries, the poor also, and him that has no helper. He shall spare the poor and needy, and shall save the souls of the needy. He shall redeem their soul from deceit and violence, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. And he shall live, and to him shall be given of the gold of Shiva. Prayer also shall be made for him continually, and daily shall he be praised. There shall be a handful of grain in the earth upon the top of the mountains. The fruit thereof shall shake like Lebanon, and they of the city shall flourish like grass of the earth. His name shall endure forever. His name shall be continued as long as the sun. And men shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him blessed. Blessed be Yahuwah Elohim, the Elohai of Yasharel, who only does wondrous things. And blessed be his glory, name forever, and let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and Amen. The prayers of David, the son of Yeshai, are ended. Psalm 73 Truly Elohim is good to Yasharel, even to such as are of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone, my steps had well nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolish, when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore pride compasses them about as a chain, violence covers them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness, they have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression, they speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue walks through the earth. Therefore his people return hither, and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. And they say, How does El know? And is there knowledge in El Elyon? Behold, these are the wicked, who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. Truly I have cleansed my heart in vain, and washed my hands in innocency. For all the day long I have been plagued, and chastened every morning. If I say I will speak thus, behold, I should offend against the generation of your children. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me, until I went into the sanctuary of El, then understood I their end. Surely you did set them in slippery places, you cast them down into destruction. How were they brought into desolation, as in a moment, they are utterly consumed with terrors. As a dream when one awakens, so, O Yahuwah, when you awake, you shall despise their image. Thus my heart was grieved, and I was pricked in my mind. So foolish was I, and ignorant, I was as a beast before you. Nevertheless, I am continually with you. You have held me by my right hand. You shall guide me with your counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is none upon earth that I desire beside you. My flesh and my heart fails, but Elohim is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For lo, they that are far from you shall perish. You have destroyed all them that go a-whoring from you. But it is good for me to draw near to Elohim. I have put my trust in Adonai Yahuwah, 
that I may declare all your works. Psalm 74 O Elohim, why have you cast us off forever? Why does your anger smoke against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your assembly, which you have purchased of old, the rod of your inheritance, which you have redeemed, this Mount Zion wherein you have dwelt. Lift up your feet unto the perpetual desolations, even all that the enemy has done wickedly in the sanctuary. Your enemies roar in the midst of your assemblies. They set up their ensigns for signs. A man was famous according as he had lifted up axes upon the thick trees. But now they break down the carved work thereof at once with axes and hammers. They have cast fire into your sanctuary. They have defiled by casting down the dwelling place of your name to the ground. They said in their hearts, Let us destroy them together. They have burned up all the synagogues of El in the land. We see not our signs. There is no more any prophet. Neither is there among us any that knows how long. O Elohim, how long shall the adversary reproach? Shall the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why withdraw you your hand, even your right hand? Pluck it out of your bosom. For Elohim is my king of old, working Yeshua, in the midst of the earth. You did divide the sea by your strength. You broke the heads of the dragons in the waters. He broke the heads of Leviathan in pieces and gave him to be meat to the people inhabiting the wilderness. You did cleave the fountain and the flood. You dried up mighty rivers. The day is yours, the night also is yours. You have prepared the light and the sun. You have set all the borders of the earth. You have made summer and winter. Remember this, that the enemy has reproached, O Yahuwah, and that the foolish people have blasphemed your name. O oh, deliver not the soul of your turtle dove unto the multitude of the wicked. Forget not the assembly of your poor forever. Have respect unto the covenant, for the dark places of the earth are full of the habitations of cruelty. O oh, let not the oppressed return ashamed. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, O oh Elohim, plead your own cause. Remember how the foolish man reproaches you daily. Forget not the voice of your enemies. The tumult of those that rise up against you increases continually. Psalm 75 Unto you, O Elohim, do we give thanks. Unto you do we give thanks, for that your name is near your wondrous works declare. When I shall receive the assembly, I will judge uprightly. The earth and all the inhabitants thereof are dissolved. I bear up the pillars of it, Selah. I said unto the fools, Deal not foolishly, and to the wicked, lift not up the horn. Lift not up your horn on high, speak not with a stiff neck. For promotion comes neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But Elohim is the judge, he puts down one and sets up another. For in the hand of Yahuwah there is a cup, and the wine is red, it is full of mixture, and he pours out of the same, but the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. But I will declare forever, I will sing praises to the Elohim of Yaakov. All the horns of the wicked also will I cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Psalm 76 In Yehuda is Elohim known, his name is great in Yasharel. In Shalem also is his tabernacle and his dwelling place in Zion. There broke he the arrows of the bow, the shield and the sword, and the battle, Salah. You are more glorious and excellent than the mountains of prey. The stout-hearted are spoiled. They have slept their sleep, and none of the men of might have found their hands. At your rebuke, O Elohai, of Yaakov, both a chariot and horse are cast into a dead sleep. You, even you, are to be feared, and who may stand in your sight when once you are angry? You did cause judgment to be heard from the Shemaim, the earth feared and was still. When Elohim arose to judgment to save all the meek of the earth, Salah. Surely the wrath of men shall praise you, the remainder of wrath shall you restrain. Vow and pay unto Yahuwah Elohekim, let all that be round about him bring presents unto him that ought to be feared. He shall cut off the Ruach of princes, he is terrible to the kings of the earth. Psalm 77 I cried unto Elohim with my voice, 
even until he with my voice, and he gave ear unto me. In the day of my trouble I sought Yahuwah. My sore ran in the night, and ceased not. My soul refused to be comforted. I remembered Elohim, and was troubled. I complained, and my ruach was overwhelmed. Salah. You hold my eyes waking. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. I call to remembrance my song in the night. I commune with my own heart, and my ruach made diligent search. Will Yahuwah cast off forever? And will he be favorable no more? Is his mercy clean gone forever? Does his promise fail forevermore? Has El forgotten to be gracious? Has he in anger shut up his tender mercies? Salah. And I said, This is my infirmity, but I will remember the years of the right hand of El Elyon. I will remember the works of Yah. Surely I will remember your wonders of old. I will meditate also of all your work and talk of your doings. Your way, O Elohim, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great and El is our Elohim? You are the El that does wonders. You have declared your strength among the people. You have with your arm redeemed your people, the sons of Yaakov and Yosef, Salah. The waters saw you, O Elohim. The waters saw you. They were afraid. The depths also were troubled. The clouds poured out water. The skies sent out a sound. Your arrows also went abroad. The voice of your thunder was in the Shemaim. The lightnings lightened the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your way is in the sea, and your path in the great waters, and your footsteps are not known. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moshe and Aaron. Psalm 78 Give ear, O my people, to my Torah. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children, showing to the generation to come the praises of Yahuwah and his strength and his wonderful works that he has done. For he established a testimony in Yaakov and appointed a Torah in Yasharel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children, that the generations to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children, that they might set their hope in Elohim, and not forget the works of El, but guard his commandments, and might not be as their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that set not their heart aright, and whose ruach was not steadfast with El. The children of Ephraim, being armed and carrying bows, turned back in the day of battle. They did not guard the covenant of Elohim, and refused to walk in his Torah, and forgot his works and his wonders that he had showed them. Marvelous things did he in the sight of their fathers, in the land of Mitzrayim, in the field of Zoan. He divided the sea and caused them to pass through, and he made the waters to stand as a heap. In the daytime also he led them with a cloud, and all the night with a light of fire. He clave the rocks in the wilderness, and gave them drink as out of the great depths. He brought streams also out of the rock, and caused waters to run down like rivers and they sinned yet more against him by provoking El Elyon in the wilderness. And they tempted El in their heart by asking meat for their lust. Yea, they spoke against Elohim. They said, Can El furnish a table in the wilderness? Behold, he smote the rock, that the waters gushed out and the streams overflowed. Can he give bread also? Can he provide flesh for his people? Therefore Yahuwah heard this and was wroth. So a fire was kindled against Yaakov. And anger also came up against Yasharel, because they believed not in Elohim, and trusted not in his Yeshua. Though he had commanded the clouds from above, and opened the doors of the Shemaim, and had rained down manna upon them to eat, and had given them of the grain of the Shemaim. Man did eat angels' food, he sent them meat to the full, he caused an east wind to blow in the Shemaim, and by his power he brought in the south wind. He rained flesh upon them as dust, and feathered fowls like as the sand of the sea. And he let it fall in the midst of their camp, round about their habitations. So they did eat and were well filled, for he gave them their own desire. They were not estranged from their lust, but while their meat was yet in their mouths, 
the wrath of Elohim came upon them, and slew the fattest of them, and smote down the chosen men of Yasharel. For all this they sinned still, and believed not for his wondrous works. Therefore their days did he consume in vanity, and their years in trouble. When he slew them, then they sought him, and they returned and inquired early after El. And they remembered that Elohim was their rock, and El Elyon their redeemer. Nevertheless they did flatter him with their mouth, and they lied unto him with their tongues. For their heart was not right with him, neither were they steadfast in his covenant. But he, being full of compassion, forgave their iniquity, and destroyed them not. Yea, many a time turned he his anger away, and did not stir up all his wrath. For he remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passes away and comes not again. How oft did they provoke him in the wilderness, and grieve him in the desert? Yea, they turned back and tempted El, and limited the Holy One of Yasharel. They remembered not his hand, nor the day when he delivered them from the enemy. How he had wrought his signs in Mitzrayim, and his wonders in the field of Zoan, and had turned their rivers into blood, and their floods that they could not drink. He sent diverse sorts of flies among them, which devoured them, and frogs, which destroyed them. He gave also their increase unto the caterpillar, and their labor unto the locust. He destroyed their vines with hail, and their sycamore trees with frost. He gave up their cattle also to the hail, and their flocks to hot thunderbolts. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation, and trouble, by sending evil angels among them. He made a way to his anger. He spared not their soul from death, but gave their life over to pestilence and smote at all the firstborn in Mitzrayim, the chief of their strength in the tabernacles of Ham, but made his own people to go forth like sheep, and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. And he fled them on safely, so that they feared not, but the sea overwhelmed their enemies. And he brought them to the border of his sanctuary, even to this mountain which his right hand had purchased. He cast out the heathen also before them, and divided them an inheritance by line, and made the tribes of Yasharel to dwell in their tents. Yet they tempted and provoked Elohim Elyon, and did not guard his testimonies, but turned back and dealt unfaithfully like their fathers. They were turned aside like a deceitful bow. For they provoked him to anger with their high places, and moved him to jealousy with their graven images. When Elohim heard this, he was wroth, and greatly abhorred Yasharel, so that he forsook the tabernacle of Shiloh, the tent which he placed among men, and delivered his strength into captivity, and his glory into the enemy's hand. He gave his people over also unto the sword, and was wroth with his inheritance. The fire consumed their young men, and their maidens were not given to marriage. Their priests fell by the sword, and their widows made no lamentation. Then Yahuwah awoke as one out of sleep, and like a mighty man that shouts by reason of wine. And he smote his enemies in the hinder parts. He put them to a perpetual reproach. Moreover, he refused the tabernacle of Yosef, and chose not the tribe of Ephraim, but chose the tribe of Yehuda, the Mount Zion, which he loved. And he built his sanctuary like high palaces, like the earth which he has established forever. He chose David also his servant, and took him from the sheepfolds. From following the ewes, great with the young, he brought him to feed Yaakov his people, and Yasharel his inheritance. So he fed them according to the integrity of his heart, and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands. Psalm 79 O Elohim, the heathen are come into your inheritance, your holy temple have they defiled. They have laid Yerushalayim on heaps. The dead bodies of your servants have they given to be meat unto the fowls of the Shemaim, the flesh of your Hakid unto the beasts of the earth. Their blood have they shed like water round about Yerushalayim, and there is none to bury them. We are become a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and derision to them that are round about us. How long, Yahuwah, will you be angry forever? Shall your jealousy burn like fire? Pour out your wrath upon the heathen that have not known you, and upon the kingdoms that have not called upon your name. For they have devoured Yaakov, and laid waste his dwelling place. O oh, remember not against us former iniquities. Let your tender mercies speedily prevent us. 
for we are brought very low. Help us, O Elohai, of our Yeshua, for the glory of your name, and deliver us and purge away our sins for your name's sake. Wherefore should the heathen say, Where is their Elohim? Let him be known among the heathen in our sight by the revenging of the blood of your servants, which is shed. Let the sighing of the prisoner come before you, according to the greatness of your power, preserve those that are appointed to die, and render unto our neighbors sevenfold into their bosom their reproach, wherewith they have reproached you, O Yahuwah. So we, your people, and sheep of your pasture, will give you thanks forever. We will show forth your praise to all generations. Psalm 80 Give ear, O shepherd, of Yasharel, you that lead Yosef like a flock, you that dwell between the Kerevim, shine forth. Before Ephraim and Binyamin and Manasseh, stir up your strength and come and save us. Turn us again, O Elohim, and cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. O Yahuwah Elohim, Sebaoth, how long will you be angry against the prayer of your people? You feed them with the bread of tears, and give them tears to drink in great measure. You make us a strife unto our neighbors, and our enemies laugh among themselves. Turn us again, O Elohim, Sebaoth, and cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. You have brought a vine out of Mitzrayim. You have cast out the heathen and planted it. You prepared room before it and did cause it to take deep root, and it filled the land. The hills were covered with the shadow of it, and the boughs thereof were like the goodly cedars. She sent out her boughs in, unto the sea, and her branches unto the river. Why have you then broken down her hedges, so that all they which pass by the way do pluck her? The boar out of the wood wastes it, and the wild beast of the field devours it. Return, we beseech you, O Elohim, Sebaoth. Look down from the Shemaim, and behold, and visit this vine, and the vineyard which your right hand has planted, and the branch that you made strong for yourself. It is burned with fire, it is cut down, they perish at the rebuke of your countenance. Let your hand be upon the man of your right hand, upon the son of Adam whom you have made strong for yourself. So will not we go back from you, quicken us, and we will call upon your name. Turn us again, O Yahuwah Elohim Sebaoth, cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. Psalm 81 Sing aloud unto Elohim our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the Elohim of Yaakov. Take a psalm and bring hither the timbrel, the pleasant harp with the psaltery. Blow the shofar on the dark new moon today on our solemn feast. For this was a statute for Yasharel, and a law of the Elohim of Yaakov. This he ordained in Yahusif for a testimony, when he went out to the land of Mitzrayim, where I heard a language that I understood not. I removed his shoulder from the burden, his hands were delivered from the pots. You called in trouble, and I delivered you. I answered you in the secret place of thunder. I proved you at the waters of Mirava, Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto you, O Yasharel, if you will hearken unto me. There shall no strange El be in you, neither shall you worship any strange El. I am Yahuwah Eloheka, which brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim. Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people would not hearken to my voice, and Yasharel would none of me. So I gave them up unto their own heart's lust, and they walked in their own counsels. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Yasharel had walked in my ways! I should soon have subdued their enemies, and turned my hand against their adversaries. The haters of Yahuwah should have submitted themselves unto him, but their time should have endured for ever. He should have fed them also with the finest of the wheat, and with the honey out of the rock should I have satisfied you. Psalm 82 Elohim stands in the assembly of the mighty. He judges among the Elohim. How long will he judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Selah Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness, all the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said, Ye are Elohim, and all of you are children of El Elyon, but ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O Elohim, judge the earth, for you shall inherit all nations.
Psalm 83 Keep not your silence, O Elohim. Hold not your peace, and be not still, O El. For lo, your enemies make a tumult, and they that hate you have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against your people, and consulted against your hidden ones. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Yasharel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against you. The tabernacles of Edom, and the Yishmaelim of Moab, and the Hagrim, Gival, and Ammon, and Amalek, the Palestine with the inhabitants of Zor, Asher also is joined with them. They have helped the children of Lot, Salah. Do unto them as unto the Midian, as to Sisera, as to Yavin, at the brook of Kishan, which perished at Endor. They became as dung for the earth. Make their nobles like Orev and like Ze'ev, yea, all their princes as Zavak and as Salmana, who said, Let us take to ourselves the houses of Elohim in possession. O Elohai, make them like a wheel, as the stubble before the wind. As the fire burns a wood, and as the flame sets the mountains on fire, so persecute them with your tempest, and make them afraid with your storm. Fill their faces with shame, that they may seek your name, O Yahuwah. Let them be confounded and troubled for ever. Yea, let them be put to shame and perish, that men may know that you, whose name alone is Yahuwah, are El Elyon over all the earth. Psalm 84 how amiable are your tabernacles, O Yahuwah Sevaoth! My soul longs, yea, even faints for the courts of Yahuwah. My heart and my flesh cries out for the living El. Yea, the sparrow has found a house and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, even your altars, O Yahuwah Sevaoth, my King and my Elohim. Blessed are they that dwell in your house, they will be still praising you, Selah. Blessed is the man whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the ways of them, who passing through the valley of Baca make it well, the rain also fills the pools. They go from strength to strength, every one of them in Zion appears before Elohim. O Yahuwah Elohim Selaoth, hear my prayer, give ear, O Elohai of Yaakov, Selah. Behold, O Elohim, our shield, and look upon the face of your anointed, for a day in your courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my Elohim than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For Yahuwah Elohim is a sun and shield. Yahuwah will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. O Yahuwah Sebaoth, blessed is the man that trusts in you. Psalm 85 Yahuwah, you have been favorable unto your land. You have brought back the captivity of Yaakov. You have forgiven the iniquity of your people. You have covered all their sin. Salah. You have taken away all your wrath. You have turned yourself from the fierceness of your anger. Turn us, O Elohai of our Yeshua, and cause your anger toward us to cease. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you draw out your anger to all generations? Will you not revive us again that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, O Yahuwah, and grant us your Yeshua. I will hear what El Yahuwah will speak, for he will speak peace unto his people and to his Hakid. But let them not turn again to folly. Surely his Yeshua is nigh them that fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from the Shemaim. Yea, Yahuwah shall give that which is good, and our land shall yield her increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set us in the way of his steps. Psalm 86 Bow down your ear, O Yahuwah. Hear me, for I am poor and needy. Guard my soul, for I am holy. O Elohai, save your servant that trusts in you. Be merciful unto me, O Yahuwah, for I cry unto you daily. Rejoice the soul of your servant, for unto you, O Yahuwah, do I lift up my soul. For you, Yahuwah, are good and ready to forgive and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon you. Give ear, O Yahuwah, unto my prayer, and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble I will call upon you, for you will answer me. Among the Elohim there is none like unto you, O Yahuwah, 
neither are there any works like unto your works. All nations whom you have made shall come and worship before you, O Yahuwah, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things. You are Elohim alone. Teach me your way, O Yahuwah. I will walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, O Yahuwah Elohai, with all my heart, and I will glorify your name forevermore. For great is your mercy toward me, and you have delivered my soul from the lowest Sheol. O Elohim, the proud are risen against me, and the assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul, and have not set you before them. But you, O Yahuwah, are an El full of compassion, and gracious, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. O turn unto me, and have mercy upon me. Give your strength unto your servant, and save the son of your handmaid. Show me a sign for good, that they which hate me may see it, and be ashamed, because you, Yahuwah, have helped me and comforted me. Psalm 87 His foundation is in the holy mountains. Yahuwah loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Yaakov. Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of Elohim. Salah I will make mention of Rahav and Babel to them that know me. Behold Pelasheth and Zor with Cush, this man was born there. And of Zion it shall be said, This and that man was born in her and El Elyon himself shall establish her. Yahuwah shall count when he writes up the people that this man was born there. Salah. As well the singers as the players on instruments shall be there. All my springs are in you. Psalm 88 O Yahuwah Elohai of my Yeshua, I have cried day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear unto my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws nigh unto Sheol. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a man that has no strength, free among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom you remember no more, and they are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the deeps. Your wrath lies hard upon me, and you have afflicted me with all your waves. Salah. You have put away my acquaintance, far from me. You have made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. My eye mourns by reason of affliction. Yahuwah, I have called daily upon you. I have stretched out my hands unto you. Will you show wonders to the dead? Shall the Rephaim arise and praise you? Salah. Shall your loving kindness be declared in the grave, or your faithfulness in destruction? Shall your wonders be known in the dark, and your righteousness in the land of the forgetfulness? But unto you have I cried, O Yahuwah, and in the morning shall my prayer prevent you. Yahuwah, why do you cast off my soul? Why do you hide your face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer your terrors, I am distracted. Your fierce wrath goes over me. Your terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water. They compassed me about together. Lover and friend have you put far from me, and my acquaintance into darkness. Psalm 89 I will sing of the mercies of Yahuwah forever. With my mouth will I make known your faithfulness to all generations. For I have said, Mercy shall be built up forever. Your faithfulness shall you establish in the very Shemaim. I have cut a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David my servant. Your seed will I establish forever and build up your throne to all generations. Salah. And the Shemaim shall praise your wonders, O Yahuwah, your faithfulness also in the assembly of the Kodeshim. For who in the Shemaim can be compared unto Yahuwah? Who among the sons of mighty can be likened unto Yahuwah? El is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the Kodeshim, and to be had in reverence of all them that are about him. O Yahuwah, Elohai, Sevaoth, who is a strong Yah like unto you, or to your faithfulness round about you? You rule the raging of the sea, when the waves thereof arise, you still them. You have broken Rahab in pieces, as one that is slain. You have scattered your enemies with your strong arm. The Shemaim are yours, the earth also is yours. As for the world and the fullness thereof, you have founded them. The north and the south, you have created them. Tavor and Hermon shall rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm, strong is your hand, and high is your right hand. Justice and judgment are the habitation of your throne. 
Mercy and truth shall go before your face. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Yahuwah, in the light of your countenance. In your name shall they rejoice all the day, and in your righteousness shall they be exalted. For you are the glory of their strength, and in your favor our horn shall be exalted. For Yahuwah is our defense, and the Holy One of Yasharel is our King. Then you spoke in vision to your Kodeshai, and said, I have laid help upon one that is mighty. I have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him. With whom my hand shall be established, my arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I will beat down his foes before his face, and plague them that hate him. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and in my name shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand also in the sea, and his right hand in the rivers. He shall cry unto me, You are my father, my El, and the rock of my Yeshua. Also I will make him my firstborn, higher than the kings of the earth. My mercy will I guard for him for evermore, and my covenant shall stand fast with him. His seed also will I make to endure forever, and his throne as the days of the Shemaim. If his children forsake my Torah, and walk not in my judgments, if they break my statutes and guard not my commandments, then will I visit their transgression with the rod, and their iniquity with stripes. Nevertheless, my loving kindness will I not utterly take from him, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that has gone out of my lips. Once have I sworn by my holiness that I will not lie unto David. His seed shall endure forever, and his throne as the sun before me. It shall be established forever as the moon and as a faithful witness in the Shemaim, Salah. But you have cast off and abhorred. You have been wroth with your anointed. You have made void the covenant of your servant. You have profaned his crown by casting it to the ground. You have broken down all his hedges. You have brought his strongholds to ruin. All that pass by the way spoil him. He is a reproach to his neighbors. You have set up the right hand of his adversaries. You have made all his enemies to rejoice. You have also turned the edge of his sword, and have not made him to stand in the battle. You have made his glory to cease, and cast his throne down to the ground. The days of his youth have you shortened. You have covered him with shame. Salah. How long, Yahuwah? Will you hide yourself forever? Shall your wrath burn like fire? Remember how short my time is. Wherefore have you made all men in vain? What man is he that lives, and shall not see death? Shall he deliver his soul from the hand of Sheol? Salah. Yahuwah, where are your former loving kindnesses, which you swore unto David in your truth? Remember, Yahuwah, the reproach of your servants, how I do bear in my bosom the reproach of all the mighty people, wherewith your enemies have reproached. O Yahuwah, wherewith they have reproached the footsteps of your anointed? Blessed be Yahuwah forevermore. Amen and Amen. Psalm 90 Yahuwah, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are El. You turn man to destruction, and say, Return, ye children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are but as yesterday, when it is past, and as a watch in the night. You carry them away as with the flood, they are as asleep in the morning, they are like grass which grows up. In the morning it flourishes and grows up, in the evening it is cut down and withers. For we are consumed by your anger, and by your wrath are we troubled. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your countenance. For all our days are passed away in your wrath, we spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are threescore years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Who knows the power of your anger? Even according to your fear, so is your wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Return, O Yahuwah, how long? And let it grieve you concerning your servants. O satisfy us early with your mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days wherein you have afflicted us, and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let your work appear unto your servants, and your glory unto their children. 
and let the beauty of Yahuwah Eloheinu be upon us, and establish the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands establish it. Psalm 91 He that dwells in the secret place of El Elyon shall abide under the shadow of El Shaddai. I will say of Yahuwah, He is my refuge and my fortress, my Elohim, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler, and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings shall you trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come nigh you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made Yahuwah, which is my refuge, even El Elyon, your habitation. There shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague come nigh your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you to guard you in all your ways. They shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall you trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my Yeshua. Psalm 92 It is a good thing to give thanks unto Yahuwah, and to sing praises unto your name, O El Elyon to show forth your loving kindness in the morning, and your faithfulness every night. Upon an instrument of ten strings, and upon the psaltery, upon the harp with a solemn sound. For you, Yahuwah, have made me glad through your work. I will triumph in the works of your hands. O Yahuwah, how great are your works, and your thoughts are very deep. A brutish man knows not, neither does a fool understand this. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed for ever. But you, Yahuwah, are most high for evermore. For lo, your enemies, O Yahuwah, for lo, your enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn shall you exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. My eye also shall see my desire on my enemies, and my ear shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that he planted in the house of Yahuwah shall flourish in the courts of our Elohim. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing, to show that Yahuwah is upright. He is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. Psalm 93 Yahuwah reigns. He is clothed with majesty. Yahuwah is clothed with strength. Wherewith he has girded himself, the world also is established, that it cannot be moved. Your throne is established of old, you are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Yahuwah, the floods have lifted up their voice, the floods lift up their waves. Yahuwah on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, yea, than the mighty waves of the sea. Your testimonies are very sure, holiness becomes your house, O Yahuwah, forever. Psalm 94 O Yahuwah El, to whom vengeance belongs, O Elohim, to whom vengeance belongs, show yourself. Lift up yourself, judge of the earth, render a reward to the proud. Yahuwah, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak hard things, and all the workers of iniquity boast themselves? They break in pieces your people, O Yahuwah, and afflict your heritage. They slay the widow and the stranger, and murder the fatherless. Yet they say, Yah shall not see, neither shall the Elohai of Yaakov regard it. Understand, ye brutish among the people, and ye fools, when will ye be wise? He that planted the ear shall he not hear? He that formed the eye shall he not see? He that chastises the heathen shall not he correct? He that teaches man knowledge shall not he know? Yahuwah knows the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. Blessed is the man whom you chasten, O Yah, and teach him out of your Torah, that you may give him rest from the days of adversity, until the pit be dug for the wicked. For Yahuwah will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance, but judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all the Yasharai in heart shall follow it. 
Who will rise up for me against the evil doers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Unless Yahuwah had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. When I said my foot slips, your mercy, O Yahuwah, held me up. In the multitude of my thoughts within me, your comforts delight my soul. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with you, which frames mischief by a law? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. But Yahuwah is my defense, and my Elohim is the rock of my refuge. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity, and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, Yahuwah Eloheinu shall cut them off. Psalm 95 O come, let us sing unto Yahuwah. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our Yeshua. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For Yahuwah is a great El, and a great King above all Elohim. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before Yahuwah of Seinu. For he is our Elohim, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their heart, and they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swore in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Psalm 96 O oh, sing unto Yahuwah a new song, sing unto Yahuwah all the earth, Sing unto Yahuwah, bless his name, show forth his Yeshua from day to day, declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For Yahuwah is great, and greatly to be praised, he is to be feared above all Elohim. For all the Elohai of the nations are idols, but Yahuwah made the Shemaim. Honor and majesty are before him, strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto Yahuwah, O ye kindreds of the people, give unto Yahuwah glory and strength. Give unto Yahuwah the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O worship Yahuwah in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Say among the heathen that Yahuwah reigns. The world also shall be established, that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Let the Shemaim rejoice. And let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice before Yahuwah, for he comes, for he comes to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. Psalm 97 Yahuwah reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of isles be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. A fire goes before him and burns up his enemies round about. His lightnings enlightened the world, the earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of Yahuwah, at the presence of the Adonai of the whole earth. The Shemaim declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all they that serve graven images, that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye Elohim. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Yehuda rejoiced because of your judgments, O Yahuwah. For you, Yahuwah, are high above all the earth. You are exalted far above all Elohim. Ye that love Yahuwah hate evil. He guards the souls of his Hakid. He delivers them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the Yasharai in heart. Rejoice in Yahuwah, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Psalm 98 O oh, sing unto Yahuwah a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm has gotten him the victory. Yahuwah has made known his Yeshua. His righteousness has he openly showed in the sight of the heathen. He has remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Yasharel. All the ends of the earth have seen the Yeshua of our Elohim. Make a joyful noise unto Yahuwah all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. Sing unto Yahuwah with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a psalm. With trumpets and sound of shofar, make a joyful noise before Yahuwah the King. Let the sea roar in the fullness thereof. 
the world and they that dwell therein. Let the floods clap their hands, let the hills be joyful together before Yahuwah, for he comes to judge the earth, with righteousness shall he judge the world, and the people with equity. Psalm 99 Yahuwah reigns, let the people tremble, he sits between the cherubim, let the earth be moved. Yahuwah is great in Zion, and he is high above all the people. Let them praise your great and terrible name, for it is holy. The king's strength also loves judgment. You establish equity. You execute judgment and righteousness in Yaakov. Exalt ye Yahuwah Eloheinu, and worship at his footstool, for he is holy. Moshe and Aaron among his priests, and Shemuel among them that call upon his name. They called upon El Yahuwah, and he answered them. He spoke unto them in the cloudy pillar. They guarded his testimonies and the ordinance that he gave them. You answered them, O Yahuwah Eloheinu. You were an El that forgave them, though you took vengeance of their inventions. Exalt Yahuwah Eloheinu and worship at his holy hill, for Yahuwah Eloheinu is holy. Psalm 100 Make a joyful noise unto Yahuwah, all ye lands. Serve Yahuwah with gladness, come before his presence with singing. Know ye that Yahuwah, he is Elohim. It is he that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For Yahuwah is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Psalm 101 I will sing of mercy and judgment unto you, O Yahuwah, will I sing. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. O oh, when will you come unto me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. A froward heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. Who so privily slanders his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that has a high look and a proud heart will I not suffer. My eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land, they that may dwell with me. He that walks perfect in the way, he shall serve me. He that works deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that tells lies shall not tarry in my sight. I will early destroy all the wicked of the land, that I may cut off all the wicked doers from the city of Yahuwah. Psalm 102 Hear my prayer, O Yahuwah, and let my cry come unto you. Hide not your face from me in the day when I am in trouble. Incline your ear unto me. In the day when I call, answer me speedily. For my days are consumed like smoke, and my bones are burned as a hearth. My heart is smitten and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. By reason of the voice of my groaning, my bones cleave to my skin. I am like a pelican of the wilderness. I am like an owl of the desert. I watch and am as a sparrow alone upon the housetop. My enemies reproach me all the day. And they that are mad against me are sworn against me. For I have eaten ashes like bread and mingled my drink with weeping. Because of your indignation and your wrath, for you have lifted me up and cast me down. My days are like a shadow that declines, and I am withered like grass. But you, O Yahuwah, shall endure forever, and your mention unto all generations. You shall arise and have mercy upon Zion, for the time to favor her, yea, the set time is come. For your servants take pleasure in her stones, and favor the dust thereof. So the heathen shall fear the name of Yahuwah, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When Yahuwah shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. He will regard the prayer of the destitute, and not despise their prayer. This shall be written for the generation to come, and the people which shall be created shall praise Yah. For he has looked down from the height of his sanctuary. From the Shemaim did Yahuwah behold the earth. To hear the groaning of the prisoner, to loose those that are appointed to death to declare the name of Yahuwah in Zion, and his praise in Yerushalayim, when the people are gathered together in the kingdoms to serve Yahuwah. He weakened my strength in the way, he shortened my days. I said, O my El, take me not away in the midst of my days, your years are throughout all generations. Of old have you laid the foundation of the earth, and the Shemayim are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you shall endure. Yea, all of them shall wax old like a garment, as a vesture shall you change them, and they shall be changed. 
but you are the same, and your years shall have no end. The children of your servants shall continue, and their seed shall be established before you. Psalm 103 Bless Yahuwah, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless Yahuwah, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Yahuwah executes righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moshe, his acts unto the children of Yasharel. Yahuwah is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the Shemayim are high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pities his children, so Yahuwah pities them that fear him. For he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of Yahuwah is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children. To such as guard his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. Yahuwah has prepared his throne in the Shemaim, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless Yahuwah, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye Yahuwah, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasure. Bless Yahuwah, all his works, and all places of his dominion. Bless Yahuwah, O my soul. Psalm 104 Bless Yahuwah, O my soul. O Yahuwah Elohai, you are very great, you are clothed with honor and majesty, who covers yourself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the Shemaim like a curtain, who lays the beams of his chambers in the waters, who makes the clouds his chariot, who walks upon the wings of the wind, who makes his angels ruachoth, his ministers of flaming fire, who laid the foundations of the earth that it should not be removed forever, you covered it with the deep as with a garment, the waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled, at the voice of your thunder they hasted away. They go up by the mountains, they go down by the valleys unto the place which you have founded for them. You have set a bound that they may not pass over, that they turn not again to cover the earth. He sends the springs into the valleys which run among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field, the wild asses quench their thirst. By them shall the fowls of the Shemaim have their habitation, which sing among the branches. He waters the hills from his chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your works. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle, and herb for the service of man, that he may bring forth food out of the earth, and wine that makes glad the heart of man, and oil to make his face to shine, and bread which strengthens man's heart. The trees of Yahuwah are full of sap, the cedars of Lebanon, which he has planted, where the birds make their nests as for the stork. The fir trees are her house. The high hills are a refuge for the wild goats and the rocks for the conies. He made the moon for appointed feasts. The sun knows his going down. You make darkness and it is night, wherein all the beasts of the forest do creep forth. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their meat from El. The sun arises, they gather themselves together and lay them down in their dens. Man goes forth unto his work and to his labor unto the evening. O Yahuwah, how manifold are your works! In wisdom have you made them all, the earth is full of your riches. So is this the great and wide sea, wherein are things creeping innumerable, both small and great beasts. There go the ships, there is that Leviathan, whom you have made to play therein. These wait all upon you, that you may give them their meat in due season that you give them they gather, you open your hand, they are filled with good. You hide your face, they are troubled. You take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. You send forth your ruach, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. The glory of Yahuwah shall endure forever. Yahuwah shall rejoice in his works. He looks on the earth and it trembles. He 
He touches the hills and they smoke. I will sing unto Yahuwah as long as I live. I will sing praise to my Elohim while I have my being. My meditation of him shall be sweet. I will be glad in Yahuwah. Let the sinners be consumed out of the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless Yahuwah, O my soul. Hallelujah. Psalm 105 O oh, give thanks unto Yahuwah. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him. Sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek Yahuwah. Seek Yahuwah and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works that he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye children of Yaakov, his chosen. He is Yahuwah Eloheinu, his judgments are in all the earth. He has remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he cut with Abraham, and his oath unto Yitzhak, and confirmed the same unto Yaakov for a law, and to Yasharel for an everlasting covenant, saying unto you will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance, when they were but a few men in number, yea, very few and strangers in it, when they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong, yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Moreover he called for a famine upon the land, he broke the whole staff of bread, he sent a man before them, even Yosef, who was sold for a servant, whose feet they hurt with fetters, he was laid in iron, until the time that his word came, the word of Yahuwah tried him, the king sent and loosed him, even the ruler of a people and let him go free. He made him add-on of his house, and ruler of all his substance, to bind his princes at his pleasure, and teach his senators wisdom. Yasharel also came into Mitzrayim, and Yaakov sojourned in the land of Ham. And he increased his people greatly, and made them stronger than their enemies. He turned their heart to hate his people, to deal subtly with his servants. He sent Moshe his servant and Aaron whom he had chosen, they showed his signs among them, and wonders in the land of Ham. He sent darkness, and made it dark, and they rebelled not against his word. He turned their waters into blood, and slew their fish. Their land brought forth frogs in abundance, in the chambers of their kings. He spoke, and there came diverse sorts of flies, and lice in all their coasts. He gave them hail for rain, and flaming fire in their land. He smote their vines also, and their fig trees and broke the trees of their coasts. He spoke, and the locusts came, and caterpillars, and that without number, and did eat up all the herbs in their land, and devoured the fruit of their ground. He smote also all the firstborn in their land, the chief of all their strength. He brought them forth also with silver and gold, and there was not one feeble person among their tribes. Mitzrayim was glad when they departed, for the fear of them fell upon them. He spread a cloud for a covering and fire to give light in the night. The people asked, and he brought quails, and satisfied them with the bread of the Shemaim. He opened the rock, and the waters gushed out. They ran in the dry places like a river, for he remembered his holy promise, and Abraham his servant. And he brought forth his people with joy, and his chosen with gladness, and gave them the lands of the heathen, and they inherited the labor of the people that they might keep his statutes and guard his Torah. Hallelujah. Psalm 106 Hallelujah. O give thanks unto Yahuwah, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of Yahuwah? Who can show forth all his praise? Blessed are they that guard judgment, and he that does righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Yahuwah, with the favor that you bear unto your people. O visit me with your Yeshua, that I may see the good of your chosen, that I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, that I may glory with your inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers, we have committed iniquity, we have done wickedly. Our fathers understood not your wonders in Mitzrayim, they remembered not the multitude of your mercies, but provoked him at the sea, even at the sea of reeds. Nevertheless he saved them for his name's sake that he might make his mighty power to be known. He rebuked the sea of reeds also, and it was dried up, so he led them through the depths as through the wilderness. And he saved them from the hand of him that hated them, 
and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy, and the waters covered their enemies, there was not one of them left. Then believed they his words, they sang his praise. They soon forgot his works, they waited not for his counsel, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness, and tempted El in the desert. And he gave them their request, but sent leanness into their soul. They envied Moshe also in the camp, and Aaron, the Kodashi of Yahuwah. The earth opened and swallowed up Dathan, and covered the company of Averim, and fire was kindled in their company. The flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf in Horeb, and worshipped the molten image. Thus they changed their glory into the similitude of an ox that eats grass. They forgot the elder Savior, which had done great things in Mitzrayim, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and terrible things by the sea of reeds. Therefore he said that he would destroy them, had not Moshe his chosen stood before him in the breach, to turn away his wrath, lest he should destroy them. Yea, they despised the pleasant land, they believed not his word but murmured in their tents, and hearkened not unto the voice of Yahuwah. Therefore he lifted up his hand against them, to overthrow them in the wilderness, to overthrow their seed also among the nations, and to scatter them in the lands. They joined themselves also unto Baal Peor, and ate the sacrifices of the dead. Thus they provoked him to anger with their inventions, and the plague broke in upon them. Then stood up Phineach, and executed judgment, and so the plague was stayed, and that was counted unto him for righteousness unto all generations for evermore. They angered him also at the waters of strife, so that it went ill with Moshe for their sakes, because they provoked his Ruach, so that he spoke unadvisedly with his lips. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom Yahuwah commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works, and they served their idols which were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto Shaddai, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. Thus were they defiled with their own works, and went a-whoring with their own inventions. Therefore was the wrath of Yahuwah kindled against his people, so much so that he abhorred his own inheritance, and he gave them into the hand of the heathen and they that hated them ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were brought into subjection under their hand. Many times did he deliver them, but they provoked him with their counsel, and were brought low for their iniquity. Nevertheless he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry, and he remembered for them his covenant, and repented according to the multitude of his mercies. He made them also to be pitied of all those that carried them captives. Save us, O Yahuwah Eloheinu, and gather us from among the heathen, to give thanks unto your holy name and to triumph in your praise. Blessed be Yahuwah Elohai of Yasharel, from everlasting to everlasting, and let all people say, Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 107 O give thanks unto Yahuwah, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of Yahuwah say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy and gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto El Yahuwah in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city of habitation. Oh, that men would praise Yahuwah for his goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfies the longing soul, and fills the hungry soul with goodness. Such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron, because they rebelled against the words of El, and contemned the counsel of El Elyon. Therefore he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down, and there was none to help. Then they cried unto El Yahuwah in their trouble, and he served them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and broke their bands in sunder. O oh, that men would praise Yahuwah for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he has broken the gates of brass, and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Fools because of their transgression, and because of their iniquities, are afflicted. Their soul abhors all manner of meat, and they draw near unto the gates of death. Then they cry unto El Yahuwah in their trouble, and he saves them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. 
Oh, that men would praise Yahuwah for his goodness, for his wonderful works to the children of men, and let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving, and declare his works with rejoicing. They that go down to the sea in ships, that do business in great waters, these see the works of Yahuwah and his wonders in the deep. For he commands and raises the stormy wind, which lifts up the waves thereof. They mount up to the Shemaim, they go down again to the depths. Their soul is melted because of trouble. They reel to and fro, and stagger like a drunken man, and are at their wit's end. Then they cry unto El Yahuwah in their trouble, and he brings them out of their distresses. He makes the storm a calm, so that the waves thereof are still. Then are they glad because they be quiet, so he brings them unto their desired haven. O oh, that men would praise Yahuwah for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also, as in the assembly of the people, and praise him in the assembly of the elders. He turns river into a wilderness, and the water springs into dry ground, a fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. He turns the wilderness into a standing water, and dry ground into water springs, and there he makes the hungry to dwell, that they may prepare a city for habitation, and sow the fields and plant vineyards, which may yield fruits of increase. He blesses them also so that they are multiplied greatly, and suffers not their cattle to decrease. Again they are minished and brought low through oppression, affliction, and sorrow. He pours contempt upon princes, and causes them to wander in the wilderness, where there is no way. Yet sets he the poor on high from affliction, and makes him families like a flock. The Yasharim shall see it, and rejoice, and all iniquity shall stop her mouth. Whoso is wise and will guard these things, even they shall understand the loving kindness of Yahuwah. Psalm 108 O Elohim, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise, even with my glory. Awake, psaltery and harp, I myself will awake early. I will praise you, O Yahuwah, among the people, and I will sing praises unto you among the nations. For your mercy is great above the Shemaim, and your truth reaches unto the clouds. Be exalted, O Elohim, above the Shemaim, and your glory above all the earth, that your beloved may be delivered. Say with your right hand, and answer me. Elohim has spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem, and meet out the valley of Sukkoth. Galad is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the strength of my head. Yehuda is my Torah giver. Moab is my washpot. Over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Over Pelasheth will I triumph. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Will not you, O Elohim, who has cast us off? And will not you, O Elohim, go forth with our hosts? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through Elohim we shall do valiantly, for it is he that shall tread down our enemies. Psalm 109 Hold not your peace, O Elohi, of my praise. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They compassed me about also with the words of hatred, and fought against me without a cause. For my love they are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer. And they have rewarded me evil for good, and hatred for my love. Set you a wicked man over him, and let Satan stand at his right hand. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned, and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few, and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless, and his woman a widow. Let his children be continually vagabonds, and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. Let the extortioner catch all that he has, and let the stranger spoil his labor. Let there be none to extend mercy unto him, neither let there be any to favor his fatherless children. Let his posterity be cut off, and in the generation following let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with El Yahuwah, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before Yahuwah continually, that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth, because that he remembered not to show mercy, but persecuted the poor and needy man, that he might even slay the broken in heart. As he loved cursing, so let it come unto him, as he delighted not in blessing, so let it be far from him. As he clothed himself with cursing like as with his garment, so let it come into his bowels like water, and like oil into his bones. Let it be unto him as the garment which covers him, 
and for a belt wherewith he is girded continually. Let this be the reward of my adversaries from Yahuwah, and of them that speak evil against my soul. But do for me, O Yahuwah Adonai, for your name's sake, because your mercy is good, deliver me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I am gone like the shadow when it declines. I am tossed up and down as the locust. My knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh fails of fatness. I became also a reproach unto them. When they looked upon me, they shook their heads. Help me, O Yahuwah Elohai, O save me according to your mercy, that they may know that this is your hand, that you, Yahuwah, have done it. Let them curse, but bless you. When they arise, let them be ashamed. But let your servant rejoice. Let my adversaries be clothed with shame, and let them cover themselves with their own confusion, as with a mantle. I will greatly praise Yahuwah with my mouth. Yea, I will praise him among the multitude, for he shall stand at the right hand of the poor to save him from those that condemn his soul. Psalm 110 Yahuwah said unto my Adonai, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Yahuwah shall send the rod of your strength out of Zion, rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people shall be willing in the day of your power, in the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. You have the dew of your youth. Yahuwah has sworn and will not repent. You are a priest forever, after the order of the Melchizedek. Yahuwah at your right hand shall strike to the kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. He shall drink of the brook in the way. Therefore shall he lift up the head. Psalm 111 Hallelujah! I will praise Yahuwah with my whole heart in the assembly of the Yasharim and in the multitude of the people. The works of Yahuwah are great, sought out all them that have pleasure therein. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endures forever. He has made his wonderful works to be remembered. Yahuwah is gracious and full of compassion. He has given meat unto them that fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. He has showed his people the power of his works that he may give them the heritage of the heathen. The works of his hands are truth and judgment. All his commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever, and are done in truth and uprightness. He sent redemption unto his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and reverent is his name. The fear of Yahuwah is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endures forever. Psalm 112 Hallelujah! Blessed is the man that fears Yahuwah, that delights greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon earth, the generation of the Yasharim shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. Unto the Yasharim there arises light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. A good man shows favor and lends. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of an evil report. His heart is fixed, trusting in Yahuwah. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he see his desire upon his enemies. He has dispersed. He has given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it and be grieved. He shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Psalm 113 Hallelujah! Hallelujah! O ye servants of Yahuwah! Hallelujah! The name of Yahuwah! Blessed be the name of Yahuwah from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, Yahuwah's name is to be praised. Yahuwah is high above all nations, and his glory above the heavens. Who is like unto Yahuwah Eloheinu, who dwells on high, who humbles himself to behold the things that are in the Shemaim and in the earth? He raises up the poor out of the dust, and lifts the needy out of the dunghill, that he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people. He makes the barren woman to keep house, and to be a joyful mother of children. Hallelujah. Psalm 114 When Yasharel went out of Mitzrayim, the house of Yaakov from a people of strange language, Yehuda was his sanctuary and Yasharel his dominion. 
The sea saw and fled. The yarden was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams and the little hills like lambs. What ailed you, O sea, that you fled? You yarden, that you were driven back. Ye mountains, that ye skipped like rams and ye little hills like lambs. Tremble, you earth, at the presence of Adonai, at the presence of the Aloha of Yaakov, which turned the rock into a standing water, the flint into a fountain of waters. Psalm 115 Not unto us, O Yahuwah, not unto us, but unto your name give glory, for your mercy and for your truth's sake. Wherefore should the heathen say, Where is now their Elohim? But our Elohim is in the Shemaim. He has done whatsoever he has pleased. Their idols are silver and gold and the work of man's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. They that make them are like unto them, so is everyone that trusts in them. O Yasharel, trust in Yahuwah. He is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in Yahuwah. He is their help and their shield. Ye that fear Yahuwah, trust in Yahuwah. He is their help and their shield. Yahuwah has been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Yasharel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless them that fear Yahuwah, both small and great. Yahuwah shall increase you more and more, you and your children. Ye are blessed of Yahuwah, which made the Shemaim and the earth. The Shemaim, even the Shemaim, are Yahuwah's. But the earth has he given to the children of men. The dead praise not Yah neither any that go down into silence. But we will bless Yah from this time forth and forevermore. Hallelujah. Psalm 116 I love Yahuwah, because he has heard my voice and my supplications, because he has inclined his ear unto me, therefore will I call upon him as long as I live. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the pains of Sheol got hold upon me. I found trouble and sorrow. Then called I upon the name of Yahuwah, O Yahuwah, I beseech you, deliver my soul. Gracious is Yahuwah, and righteous, yea, our Elohim is merciful. Yahuwah guards the simple, I was brought low, and he helped me. Return unto your rest, O my soul, for Yahuwah has dealt bountifully with you. For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from my tears, and my feet from falling. I will walk before Yahuwah in the land of the living. I believed, therefore, have I spoken, I was greatly afflicted. I said in my haste, All men are liars. What shall I render unto Yahuwah for all his benefits toward me? I will take the cup of Yeshua, and call upon the name of Yahuwah. I will pay my vows unto Yahuwah now in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of Yahuwah is the death of his Hakid. O Yahuwah, truly I am your servant. I am your servant, and the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving, and will call upon the name of Yahuwah. I will pay my vows unto Yahuwah now in the presence of all his people, in the courts of Yahuwah's house, in the midst of you, O Yerushalayim. Hallelujah. Psalm 117 Hallelujah, Yahuwah. All ye nations, praise him, all ye people, for his merciful kindness is great toward us and the truth of Yahuwah endures forever. Hallelujah. Psalm 118 O give thanks unto Yahuwah, for he is good, because his mercy endures forever. Let Yasharel now say that his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endures forever. Let them now that fear Yahuwah say that his mercy endures forever. I called upon Yah in distress. Yah answered me and set me in a large place. Yahuwah is on my side, I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Yahuwah takes my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in Yahuwah than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in Yahuwah than to put confidence in princes. All nations compassed me about, but in the name of Yahuwah will I destroy them. They compassed me about, yea, they compassed me about, but in the name of Yahuwah I will destroy them. They compassed me about like bees, they are quenched as the fire of thorns, for in the name of Yahuwah I will destroy them. 
You have thrust sore at me that I might fall, but Yahuwah helped me. Yah is my strength and song and has become my Yeshua. The voice of rejoicing and Yeshua is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of Yahuwah does valiantly. The right hand of Yahuwah is exalted. The right hand of Yahuwah does valiantly. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of Yah. Yah has chastened me sore, but he has not given me over unto death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them, and I will praise Yah. This gate of Yahuwah, into which the righteous shall enter, I will praise you, for you have heard me, and are become my Yeshua. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. This is Yahuwah's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which Yahuwah has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I beseech you, O Yahuwah. O Yahuwah, I beseech you, send now prosperity. Blessed be he that comes in the name of Yahuwah. We have blessed you out of the house of Yahuwah. El is Yahuwah, which has showed us light. Bind the sacrifice on the feast day with cords even unto the horns of the altar. You are my El, and I will praise you. You are my Elohim, I will exalt you. O give thanks unto Yahuwah, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Psalm 119 Aleph Blessed are the undefiled in the way, who walk in the Torah of Yahuwah. Blessed are they that guard his testimonies, and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity, they walk in his ways. You have commanded us to guard your precepts diligently. Oh, that my ways were directed to guard your statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed, when I have respect unto all your commandments. I will praise you with uprightness of heart, when I shall have learned your righteous judgments. I will guard your statutes. Oh, forsake me not utterly. Fate Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way, but taking heed thereto according to your word? With my whole heart have I sought you, O let me not wander from your commandments. Your word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Yahuwah, teach me your statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of your mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of your testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate in your precepts, and have respect unto your ways. I will delight myself in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Gimel Deal bountifully with your servant, that I may live, and guard your word. Open my eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of your Torah. I am a stranger in the earth. Hide not your commandments from me. My soul breaks for the longing that it has unto your judgments at all times. You have rebuked the proud that are cursed, which do err from your commandments. Remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept your testimonies. Princes also did sit and speak against me, but your servant did meditate in your statutes. Your testimonies also are my delight and my counselors. My soul cleaves unto the dust. Quicken me according to your word. Talit I have declared my ways, and you heard me. Teach me your statutes. Make me to understand the way of your precepts. So shall I talk of your wondrous works. My soul melts for heaviness. Strengthen me according to your word. Remove from me the way of lying, and grant me your Torah graciously. I have chosen the way of truth. Your judgments have I laid before me. I have stuck unto your testimonies, O Yahuwah. Put me not to shame. I will run the way of your commandments, when you shall enlarge my heart. Hey, teach me, O Yahuwah, the way of your statutes, and I shall guard it unto the end. Give me understanding, and I shall guard your Torah, yea, I shall keep it with my whole heart. Make me to go in the path of your commandments, for therein do I delight. Incline my heart unto your testimonies, and not to covetousness. Turn away my eyes from beholding vanity, and quicken me in your way. Establish your word unto your servant, who is devoted to your fear. Turn away my reproach which I fear, for your judgments are good. Behold, I have longed after your precepts. Quicken me in your righteousness. Vav, let your mercies come also unto me, O Yahuwah, even your Yeshua, according to your word. So shall I have wherewith to answer him that reproaches me, for I trust in your word. 
and take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for I have hoped in your judgments. So shall I guard your Torah continually, for ever and ever. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek your precepts. I will speak of your testimonies also before kings, and will not be ashamed. And I will delight myself in your commandments, which I have loved. My hands also will I lift up unto your commandments, which I have loved, and I will meditate in your statutes. Zion Remember the word unto your servant, upon which you have caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, for your word has quickened me. The proud have had me greatly in derision, yet have I not declined from your Torah. I remembered your judgments of old, O Yahuwah, and have comforted myself. Horror has taken a hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake your Torah. Your statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. I have remembered your name, O Yahuwah, in the night, and have guarded your Torah. This I had because I kept your precepts. Chet You are my portion, O Yahuwah. I have said that I would guard your words. I entreated your favor with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me according to your word. I thought on my ways, and turned my feet unto your testimonies. I made haste, and delayed not to guard your commandments. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten your Torah. At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto you because of your righteous judgments. I am a companion of all them that fear you, and of them that guard your precepts. The earth, O Yahuwah, is full of your mercy. Teach me your statutes. Tet. You have dealt well with your servant, O Yahuwah, according to your word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I have believed your commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now have I guarded your word. You are good, and do good. Teach me your statutes. The proud have forged a lie against me, but I will guard your precepts with my whole heart. Their heart is as fat as grease, but I delight in your Torah. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn your statutes. The Torah of your mouth is better unto me than thousands of gold and silver. Yod Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding, that I may learn your commandments. They that fear you will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in your word. I know, O Yahuwah, that your judgments are right, and that you in faithfulness have afflicted me. Let, I pray you, your merciful kindness be for my comfort, according to your word unto your servant. Let your tender mercies come unto me, that I may live, for your Torah is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed, for they dealt perversely with me without a cause, but I will meditate in your precepts. Let those that fear you turn unto me, and those that have known your testimonies. Let my heart be sound in your statutes, that I be not ashamed. Kaf. My soul faints for your Yeshua, but I hope in your word. My eyes fail for your word, saying, When will you comfort me? For I am become like a bottle in the smoke, yet do I not forget your statutes. How many are the days of your servant? When will you execute judgment on them that persecute me? The proud have dug pits for me, which are not after your Torah. All your commandments are faithful. They persecute me wrongfully. Help me. They had almost consumed me upon the earth but I forsook not your precepts. Quicken me after your loving kindness, so shall I guard the testimony of your mouth. Lamed Forever, O Yahuwah, your word is settled in the Shemaim. Your faithfulness is unto all generations. You have established the earth, and it abides. They continue this day according to your ordinances, for all are your servants. Unless your Torah had been my delights, I should then have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for with them you have quickened me. I am yours, save me, for I have sought your precepts. The wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider your testimonies. I have seen an end of all perfection, but your commandment is exceeding broad. Mem Oh, how I love your Torah! It is my meditation all the day. You through your commandments have made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I guard your precepts. I have refrained my feet from every evil way, that I might guard your word. I have not departed from your judgments, for you have taught me. 
How sweet are your words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Noon Your word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. I have sworn, and I will perform it, that I will guard your righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Yahuwah, according to your word. Accept, I beseech you, the free will offerings of my mouth. O Yahuwah, and teach me your judgments. My soul is continually in my hand, yet do I not forget your Torah. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I erred not from your precepts. Your testimonies have I taken as a heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have declined my heart to perform your statutes always, even unto the end. Samach I hate vain thoughts, but your Torah do I love. You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. Depart from me, you evildoers, for I will guard the commandments of my Elohim. Uphold me according to your word that I may live, and let me not be ashamed of my hope. Hold me up and I shall be safe, and I will have respect under your statutes continually. You have trodden down all them that err from your statutes, for their deceit is falsehood. You have put away all the wicked of the earth like dross. Therefore I love your testimonies. My flesh trembles for fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. Ein. I have done judgment and justice. Leave me not to my oppressors. Be surety for your servant for good. Let not the proud oppress me. My eyes fail for your Yeshua, and for the word of your righteousness. Deal with your servant according unto your mercy, and teach me your statutes. I am your servant, give me understanding that I may know your testimonies. It is time for you, Yahuwah, to work, for they have made void your Torah. Therefore I love your commandments above gold, yea, above fine gold. Therefore I esteem all your precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. Pay. Your testimonies are wonderful, therefore does my soul guard them. The entrance of your words gives light. It gives understanding unto the simple. I opened my mouth and panted, for I longed for your commandments. Look upon me and be merciful unto me, as you used to do unto those that love your name. Order my steps in your word, and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the oppression of man, so will I guard your precepts. Make your face to shine upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. Rivers of waters run down my eyes, because they guard not your Torah. Zadi Righteous are you, O Yahuwah, and upright are your judgments. Your testimonies that you have commanded are righteous and very faithful. My zeal has consumed me, because my enemies have forgotten your words. Your word is very pure, therefore your servant loves it. I am small and despised, yet do not I forget your precepts. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your Torah is the truth. Trouble and anguish have taken hold on me, yet your commandments are my delights. The righteousness of your testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding, and I shall live. Kuf I cried with my whole heart, Hear me, O Yahuwah, I will guard your statutes. I cried unto you, Save me, and I shall guard your testimonies. I prevented the dawning of the morning, and cried, I hoped in your word. My eyes prevent the night watches, that I might meditate in your word. Hear my voice according unto your loving kindness, O Yahuwah, quicken me according to your judgment. They draw nigh that follow after mischief, they are far from your Torah. You are near, O Yahuwah, and all your commandments are truth. Concerning your testimonies, I have known of old that you have founded them forever. Resh, consider my affliction, and deliver me, for I do not forget your Torah. Plead my cause, and deliver me, quicken me according to your word. Yeshua is far from the wicked, for they seek not your statutes. Great are your tender mercies, O Yahuwah, quicken me according to your judgments. Many are my persecutors and my enemies, yet do I not decline from your testimonies. I beheld the transgressors and was grieved, because they did not guard your word. Consider how I love your precepts. Quicken me, O Yahuwah, according to your loving kindness. Your word is true from the beginning, and every one of your righteous judgments endures forever. 
Sheen. Princes have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. I rejoice at your word as one that finds great spoil. I hate and abhor lying, but your Torah do I love. Seven times a day do I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Great peace have they which love your Torah, and nothing shall offend them. Yahuwah, I have hoped for your Yeshua, and done your commandments. My soul has guarded your testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I have guarded your precepts and your testimonies, for all my ways are before you. Tav Let my cry come near before you, O Yahuwah, give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you, deliver me according to your word. My lips shall utter praise when you have taught me your statutes. My tongue shall speak of your word, for all your commandments are righteousness. Let your hand help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I have longed for your Yeshua, O Yahuwah, and your Torah is my delight. Let my soul live, and it shall praise you, and let your judgments help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. Psalm 120 In my distress I cried unto El Yahuwah, and he heard me. Deliver my soul, O Yahuwah, from lying lips, and from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given unto you, or what shall be done unto you, you false tongue? Sharp arrows of the mighty with coals of juniper. Woe is me, that I sojourn in Meshach, that I dwell in the tents of Kedar. My soul has long dwelt with him that hates peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Psalm 121 I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from Yahuwah, which made the Shemaim and earth. He will not suffer your foot to be moved. He that guards you will not slumber. Behold, he that guards Yasharel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Yahuwah is your guard. Yahuwah is your shade upon your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. Yahuwah shall guard you from all evil. He shall guard your soul. Yahuwah shall guard your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Psalm 122 I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of Yahuwah. Our feet shall stand within your gates, O Yerushalayim. Yerushalayim is built as a city that is compact together. Whither the tribes go up, the tribes of Yah, unto the testimony of Yasharel, to give thanks unto the name of Yahuwah. For there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Yerushalayim. They shall prosper that love you. Peace be within your walls, and prosperity within your palaces. For my brethren and companions' sake, I will now say, Peace be within you. Because of the house of Yahuwah Eloheinu, I will seek your good. Psalm 123 Unto you lift I up my eyes, O you that dwell in the Shemaim. Behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hand of their Adonim, and as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon El Yahuwah Eloheinu, until that he have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Yahuwah, have mercy upon us, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease, and with the contempt of the proud. Psalm 124 If it had not been Yahuwah who was on our side, now may Yasharel say, If it had not been Yahuwah who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick, when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be Yahuwah who has not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken, and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of Yahuwah who made the Shemaim and earth. Psalm 125 they that trust in Yahuwah shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abides forever. As the mountains are round about Yerushalayim, so Yahuwah is round about his people from henceforth even forever. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. Do good, O Yahuwah, unto those that be good, and to them that are upright in their hearts. 
As for such as turn aside unto their crooked ways, Yahuwah shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity, but peace shall be upon Yasharel. Psalm 126 When Yahuwah turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, Yahuwah has done great things for them. Yahuwah has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Yahuwah, as the streams in the Negev. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goes forth and weeps, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Psalm 127 Except Yahuwah build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except Yahuwah guard the city, the watchman wakens, but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he gives his beloved sleep. Lo, children are a heritage of Yahuwah, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that has his quiver full of them, they shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Psalm 128 Blessed is everyone that fears Yahuwah, that walks in his ways. For you shall eat the labor of your hands. Happy shall you be, and it shall be well with you. Your woman shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of your house, your children like olive plants round about your table. Behold, that thus shall the man be blessed that fears Yahuwah. Yahuwah shall bless you out of Zion, and you shall see the good of Yerushalayim all the days of your life. Yea, you shall see your children's children, and peace upon Yasharel. Psalm 129 Many a time have they afflicted me from my youth. May Yasharel now say, Many a time have they afflicted me from my youth, yet they have not prevailed against me. The plowers plowed upon my back, they made long their furrows. Yahuwah is righteous, he has cut asunder the cords of the wicked. Let them all be confounded and turned back that hate Zion. Let them be as the grass upon the housetops, which withers afore it grows up. Wherewith the mower fills not his hand, nor he that binds sheaves his bosom. Neither do they which go by say, The blessing of Yahuwah be upon you. We bless you in the name of Yahuwah. Psalm 130 out of the depths have I cried unto you, O Yahuwah. Yahuwah, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, Yah, should mark iniquities, O Yahuwah, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with you, that you may be feared. I wait for Yahuwah, my soul does wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waits for Yahuwah more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Let Yasharel hope in El Yahuwah, for with Yahuwah there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Yasharel from all his iniquities. Psalm 131 Yahuwah, my heart is not haughty, nor my eyes lofty, neither do I exercise myself in great matters, or in things too high for me. Surely I have behaved and quieted myself, as a child that is weaned of his mother, my soul is even as a weaned child. Let Yasharel hope in El Yahuwah from henceforth and forever. Psalm 132 Yahuwah remembered David and all his afflictions, how he swore unto Yahuwah and vowed unto the mighty Elohim of Yaakov. Surely I will not come into the tabernacle of my house, nor go up into my bed. I will not give sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids until I find out a place for Yahuwah a habitation for the mighty Elohim of Yaakov. Lo, we heard of it at Ephrathah, we found it in the fields of the wood. We will go into his tabernacles, we will worship at his footstool. Arise, O Yahuwah, into your rest, you and the ark of your strength. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your hakid shout for joy. For your servant David's sake, turn not away the face of your anointed. Yahuwah has sworn in truth unto David, he will not turn from it. Of the fruit of your body will I set upon your throne. If your children will guard my covenant and my testimony that I shall teach them, their children shall also sit upon your throne forevermore. For Yahuwah has chosen Zion, 
He has desired it for his habitation. This is my rest forever. Here will I dwell, for I have desired it. I will abundantly bless her provision. I will satisfy her poor with bread. I will also clothe her priests with Yeshua, and her hakid shall shout aloud for joy. There will I make the horn of David to bud. I have ordained a lamp for my anointed. His enemies will I clothe with shame, but upon himself shall his crown flourish. Psalm 133 Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in Yakad. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments, as the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. For there Yahuwah commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Psalm 134 Behold, bless ye Yahuwah, all ye servants of Yahuwah, which by night stand in the house of Yahuwah. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary, and bless Yahuwah, Yahuwah that made the Shemaim and earth, bless you out of Zion. Psalm 135 Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Ye the name of Yahuwah! Praise Him, O ye servants of Yahuwah! Ye that stand in the house of Yahuwah, in the courts of the house of our Elohim. Hallelujah! For Yahuwah is good. Sing praises unto His name, for it is pleasant. For Yah has chosen Yaakov unto Himself, and Yasharel for His peculiar treasure. For I know that Yahuwah is great, and that our Adonai is above all Elohim. Whatsoever Yahuwah pleased, that did he in the Shemaim and in earth, in the seas, and all the deep places. He causes the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He makes lightnings for the rain. He brings the wind out of his treasuries, who smote the firstborn of Mitzrayim, both of man and beast, who sent signs and wonders into the midst of you, O Mitzrayim, upon Pharaoh, and upon all his servants, who smote great nations and slew mighty kings, Sihan, king of the Emerim, and Og, king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, and gave their land for a heritage, a heritage unto Yasharel his people. Your name, O Yahuwah, endures forever, and your mention, O Yahuwah, throughout all generations. For Yahuwah will judge his people, and he will repent himself concerning his servants. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Neither is there any breath in their mouths. They that make them are like unto them, so is everyone that trusts in them. Bless Yahuwah, O house of Yasharel. Bless Yahuwah, O house of Aaron. Bless Yahuwah, O house of Levi, ye that fear Yahuwah. Bless Yahuwah. Blessed be Yahuwah out of Zion, which dwells at Yerushalayim. Hallelujah. Psalm 136 O give thanks unto Yahuwah, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. O give thanks to Elohai HaElohim, for his mercy endures forever. O give thanks to Adonai HaAdonim, for his mercy endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, for his mercy endures forever. To him that by wisdom made the Shemaim, for his mercy endures forever. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endures forever. To him that made great lights, for his mercy endures forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endures forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercy endures forever. To him that smote Mitzrayim in their firstborn, for his mercy endures forever, and brought out Yasharel from among them, from his mercy endures forever. With a strong hand and with a stretched out arm, for his mercy endures forever. To him which divided the sea of reeds and departs, for his mercy endures forever, and made Yasharel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endures forever but overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the sea of reeds, for his mercy endures forever. To him which led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endures forever. To him which smote great kings, for his mercy endures forever, and slew famous kings, for his mercy endures forever. Sihan, king of the Emerim, for his mercy endures forever. 
and Og, the king of Bashan, for his mercy endures forever, and gave their land for a heritage, for his mercy endures forever, even a heritage unto Yasharel his servant, for his mercy endures forever, who remembered us in our low estate, for his mercy endures forever, and has redeemed us from our enemies, for his mercy endures forever, who gives food to all flesh, for his mercy endures forever, O give thanks unto the El of the Shemaim, for his mercy endures forever. Psalm 137 By the rivers of Babel there we sat down, yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof, for there they that carried us away captive required of us a song, and they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing Yahuwah's song in a strange land? If I forget you, O Yerushalayim, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember you, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth, if I prefer not Yerushalayim above my chief joy. Remember, O Yahuwah, the children of Edom, in the day of Yerushalayim, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babel, who are to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewards you as you have served us. Happy shall he be that takes and dashes your little ones against the stones. Psalm 138 I will praise you with my whole heart. Before the Elohim will I sing praise unto you. I will bow down toward your holy temple, and I praise your name according to your mercy and according to your truth. For the greatness of your name according to all your words. In the day when I cried, you answered me, and strengthened me with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Yahuwah, when they hear the words of your mouth. Yea, they shall sing in the ways of Yahuwah, for great is the glory of Yahuwah. Though Yahuwah be high, yet has he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knows afar off. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will revive me. You shall stretch forth your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand shall save me. Yahuwah will perfect that which concerns me. Your mercy, O Yahuwah, endures forever. Forsake not the works of your own hands. Psalm 139 O Yahuwah, you have searched me and known me. You know my down-sitting and my uprising. You understand my thought afar off. You compass my path and my lying down, and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Yahuwah, you know it altogether. You have beset me behind and before, and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, I cannot attain unto it. Whither shall I go from your Ruach, or whither shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend up into the Shemaim, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall your hand lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, Surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hides not from you, but the night shines as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to you. For you have possessed my mind, you have covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows right well. My substance was not hid from you when I was made in secret, and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes did see my substance, yet being imperfect, and in your sephir all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How precious also are your thoughts unto me, O El! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Surely you will slay the wicked, O Eloah. Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men. For they speak against you wickedly, and your enemies take your name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Yahuwah, that hate you? And am not I grieved with those that rise up against you? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, O El, and know my heart. Try me, and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Psalm 140 Deliver me, O Yahuwah, from the evil man. Guard me from the violent man, which imagine mischiefs in their heart. 
Continually are they gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Selah. Guard me, O Yahuwah, from the hands of the wicked. Keep me from the violent man who have purposed to overthrow my goings. The proud have hid a snare from me. In cores they have spread a net by the wayside. They have set gins for me. Selah. I said unto Yahuwah, You are my El. Hear the voice of my supplications, O Yahuwah. O Yahuwah Adonai, the strength of my Yeshua, you have covered my head in the day of battle. Grant not, O Yahuwah, the desires of the wicked, further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves. Salah. As for the head of those that compass me about, let the mischief of their own lips cover them. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits, that they rise not up again. Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him. I know that Yahuwah will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor. Surely the righteous shall give thanks unto your name. The Yasharim shall dwell in your presence. Psalm 141 Yahuwah, I cry unto you. Make haste unto me. Give ear unto my voice when I cry unto you. Let my prayer be set forth before you as incense, and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch, O Yahuwah, before my mouth. Guard the door of my lips. Incline not my heart to any evil thing, to practice wicked works with men that work iniquity, and let me not eat of their dainties. Let the righteous smite me, it shall be a kindness, and let him reprove me, it shall be an excellent oil, which shall not break my head for yet my prayer also shall be in their calamities. When their judges are overthrown in stony places, they shall hear my words, for they are sweet. Our bones are scattered at Sheol's mouth, as when one cuts and cleaves wood upon the earth. But my eyes are unto you, O Yahuwah Adonai, and you is my trust. Leave not my soul destitute. Guard me from the snares which they have laid for me, and the gins of the workers of iniquity. Let the wicked fall into their own nets, while that I withal escape. Psalm 142 I cried unto El Yahuwah with my voice. With my voice unto El Yahuwah did I make my supplication. I poured out my complaint before him. I showed before him my trouble. When my ruach was overwhelmed within me, then you knew my path. In the way wherein I walked, have they privily laid a snare for me. I looked on my right hand, and beheld that there was no man that would know me. Refuge failed me, no man cared for my soul. I cried unto you, O Yahuwah, I said, You are my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may praise your name. The righteous shall encompass me about, for you shall deal bountifully with me. Psalm 143 Hear my prayer, O Yahuwah. Give ear to my supplications. In your faithfulness answer me, and in your righteousness. And enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy has persecuted my soul. He has smitten my life down to the ground. He has made me to dwell in darkness, as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my ruach overwhelmed within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all your works. I muse on the work of your hands. I stretch forth my hands unto you. My soul thirsts after you as a thirsty land. Salah. Hear me speedily, O Yahuwah. My ruach fails. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your loving kindness in the morning, for in you do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto you. Deliver me, O Yahuwah, from my enemies. I flee unto you to hide me. Teach me to do your will, for you are my Elohim. Your Ruach is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Yahuwah, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring my soul out of trouble. And of your mercy, cut off my enemies, and destroy all them that afflict my soul for I am your servant. Psalm 144 Blessed be Yahuwah my strength, which teaches my hands to war, and my fingers to fight. 
my goodness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, my shield and he in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Yahuwah, what is man that you take knowledge of him, or the son of man that you make account of him? Man is like to vanity, his days are as a shadow that passes away. Bow your heavens, O Yahuwah, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Cast forth lightning, and scatter them. Shoot out your arrows, and destroy them. Send your hand from above. Rid me, and deliver me out of great waters, from the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaks vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song unto you, O Elohim. Upon a psaltery and an instrument of ten strings will I sing praises unto you. It is he that gives salvation unto kings, who delivers David his servant from the hurtful sword. Rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaks vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood, that our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth, that our daughters may be as cornerstones polished after the similitude of a palace, that our garners may be full, affording our manner of store, that our sheep may bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our streets, that our oxen may be strong to labor, that there be no breaking in nor going out, that there be no complaining in our streets. Happy is that people that is in such a case, yea, happy is that people whose Elohim is Yahuwah. Psalm 145 Aleph I will extol you, my Elohim, O King, and I will bless your name for ever and ever. Bait. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name for ever and ever. Gimel. Great is Yahuwah, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. Dalit. One generation shall praise your works to another, and shall declare your mighty acts. Hey. I will speak of the glorious honor of your majesty, and of your wondrous works. Vav. And men shall speak of the might of your terrible acts, and I will declare your greatness. Zion, they shall abundantly utter the memory of your great goodness, and shall sing of your righteousness. Het, Yahuwah is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. Tet, Yahuwah is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. Yod, all your works shall praise you, O Yahuwah, and your hakid shall bless you. Kaf, they shall speak of the glory of your kingdom, and talk of your power. Lamed, to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts, and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Mem, your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures throughout all generations. Nun, Elohim is true in his words, and holy in all his works. Semek. Yahuwah upholds all that fall, and raises up all those that be bowed down. Ein, the eyes of all wait upon you, and you give them their meat in due season. Pay, you open your hand, and satisfy the desire of every living thing. Zadi, Yahuwah is righteous in all his ways, and holy in all his works. Kuf, Yahuwah is nigh unto them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. Resh. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. Shine. Yahuwah guards all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. Tav. My mouth shall speak the praise of Yahuwah, and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Psalm 146. Hallelujah. Praise Yahuwah, O my soul. While I live, will I praise Yahuwah. I will sing praises unto my Elohim, while I have any being. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the son of Adam, in whom there is no help. His breath goes forth, he returns to his earth, and that very day his thoughts perish. Happy is he that has the El of Yaakov for his help, whose hope is in Yahuwah Eloheyu, which made the Shemayim and earth, the sea, and all that is therein, which guards truth forever, which executes judgment for the oppressed, which gives food to the hungry. Yahuwah looses the prisoners. Yahuwah opens the eyes of the blind. Yahuwah raises them that are bowed down. Yahuwah loves the righteous. Yahuwah guards the strangers. 
he relieves the fatherless and the widow, but the way of the wicked he turns upside down. Yahuwah shall reign forever, even your Elohim, O Zion, unto all generations. Hallelujah. Psalm 147 Hallelujah, for it is good to sing praises unto our Elohim, for it is pleasant, and praise is comely. Yahuwah builds up Yerushalayim, he gathers together the outcasts of Yasharel, he heals the broken in heart and binds up their wounds. He tells the number of the stars. He calls them all by their names. Great is our Adonai, and of great power his understanding is infinite. Yahuwah lifts up the meek. He casts the wicked down to the ground. Sing unto Yahuwah with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the harp unto our Elohim, who covers the Shemayim with clouds, who prepares rain for the earth, who makes grass to grow upon the mountains. He gives to the beast his food, and to the young ravens which cry. He delights not in the strength of the horse. He takes not pleasure in the legs of a man. Yahuwah takes pleasure in them that fear him, and those that hope in his mercy. Praise Yahuwah, O Yerushalayim. Praise your Elohim, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. He makes peace in your borders and fills you with the finest of the wheat. He sends forth his commandment upon earth. His word runs very swiftly. He gives snow like wool. He scatters the hoar frost like ashes. He casts forth his ice like morsels. Who can stand before his cold? He sends out his word and melts them. He causes his wind to blow and the waters flow. He shows his word unto Yaakov, his statutes and his judgments unto Yasharel. He has not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Hallelujah. Psalm 148 Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Yahuwah, from the Shemaim. Praise him in the heights. Praise ye him, all his angels. Praise ye him, all his hosts. Praise ye him, sun and moon. Praise him, all ye stars of light. Praise him, ye Shemaim of Shemaim, and ye waters that be above the Shemaim. Let them praise the name of Yahuwah, for he commanded, and they were created. He has also established them forever and ever. He has made a decree which shall not pass. Hallelujah, Yahuwah, from the earth, ye dragons in all deeps, fire and hail, snow and vapor, stormy wind fulfilling his word, mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl kings of the earth and all people, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of Yahuwah, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and the Shemaim. He also exalts the horn of his people, the praise of all his hakid, even unto the children of Yasharel, a people near unto him. Hallelujah. Psalm 149 Hallelujah! Sing unto Yahuwah a new song, and his praise in the assembly of the Hakid. Let Yasharel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with a timbrel and harp. For Yahuwah takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with Yeshua. Let the Hakid be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of El be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand, to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them judgment written. This honor have all his hakid. Hallelujah. Psalm 150 Hallelujah. Hallelujah, El, in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the shofar. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and flutes. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high-sounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise Yah. Hallelujah. Psalm 151 I was the youngest among my brethren, and a youth in my father's house. 
I used to feed my father's flock, and I found a lion and a wolf, and slew them and rent them. My hands made a flute, and my fingers fashioned a harp. Who will show me my Adonai? He, my Adonai, is become my Elohim. He sent his angel and took me away from my father's flock, and anointed me with the oil of anointing. My brethren, the fair and the tall, and them Yahuwah had no pleasure. And I went forth to meet the Pelishti, and he cursed me by his idols. But I drew his sword and cut off his head, and took away the reproach from the children of Yasharel. Psalm 152 With a loud voice glorify Elohim, and the assembly of many proclaim his glory. Amid the multitude of the upright glorify his praise, and speak of his glory with the righteous. Join your soul to the good and to the perfect, to glorify El Elyon. Gather yourselves together to make known his strength, and be not slow in showing forth his deliverance and his strength and his glory to all children, that the honor of Yahuwah may be known. Wisdom has been given, and to tell of his works it has been made known to men, to make known unto children his strength, and to make them that lack understanding to comprehend his glory, who are far from his entrances and distant from his gates, because Yahuwah of Yaakov is exalted, and his glory is upon all his works. And a man who glorifies El Elyon, in him will he take pleasure, as in one who offers fine meal, and as in one who offers he-goats and calves, and as in one who makes fat the altar with a multitude of ascending smoke offerings, and as the smell of incense from the hands of the just. From your upright gates shall be heard his voice, and from the voice of the upright admonition. And in their eating shall they be satisfied in truth, and in their drinking when they share together. Their dwelling is in the Torah of El Elyon, and their speech is to make known his strength. How far from the wicked is the speech of him, and from all transgressors to know him. Lo, the eye of Yahuwah takes pity on the good, and unto them that glorify him will he multiply mercy, and from the time of evil will he deliver their soul. Blessed be Yahuwah, who has delivered the wretched from the hand of the wicked, who raises up a horn out of Yaakov and a judge of the nations out of Yasharel, that he may prolong his dwelling in Zion, and may adorn our age in Yerushalayim. Psalm 153 O Yahuwah, I have cried unto you, hearken unto me, I have lifted up my hands to your holy dwelling place, incline your ear unto me, and grant me my request, my prayer withhold not from me, build up my soul and destroy it not, and lay it not bare before the wicked. Them that recompense evil things turn you away from me, O judge of truth. O Yahuwah, judge me not according to my sins, because no flesh is innocent before you. Make plain to me, O Yahuwah, your Torah, and teach me your judgments, and many shall hear of your works, and the nations shall praise your honor. Remember me, and forget me not, and lead me not into things that be too hard for me. The sins of my youth make you to pass from me, and in my chastisement let them not be against me. Cleanse me, O Yahuwah, from the evil leprosy, and let it no more come unto me. Dry up its roots in me, and let not its leaves sprout within me. Great are you, O Yahuwah, therefore my request shall be fulfilled from before you. To whom shall I complain that he may give unto me? And what can the strength of men add unto me? From before you, O Yahuwah, is my confidence. I cried unto Yahuwah, and he heard me, and healed the breaking of my heart. I slumbered and slept, I dreamed and was helped, and Yahuwah sustained me. They sorely pained my heart, I will return thanks because Yahuwah delivered me. Now will I rejoice in their shame. I have hoped in you, and I shall not be ashamed. Give you honor forever, even forever and ever. Deliver Yasharel, your elect, and them of the house of Yaakov, your proved one. Psalm 154 O Elohim, O Elohim, come to my aid. Help me and save me. Deliver my soul from the slayer. Shall I go down to Sheol by the mouth of the lion? Or shall the wolf confound me? Was it not enough for them that they lay in wait for my father's flock, and rent in pieces a sheep of my father's drove? But they were wishing also to destroy my soul? Have pity, O Yahuwah, and save your Holy One from destruction, that he may rehearse your glories in all his times, and may praise your great name. When you have delivered him from the hands of the destroying lion, 
and of the ravening wolf, and when you have rescued my captivity from the hands of the wild beasts. Quickly, O Adonai, send from before you a deliverer, and draw me out of the gaping pit which imprisons me in its depths. Psalm 155 Praise ye, Yahuwah, all ye nations glorify him and bless his name, who rescued the soul of his elect from the hands of death, and delivered his Holy One from destruction, and saved me from the nets of Sheol, and my soul from the pit that cannot be fathomed. Because before my deliverance could go forth from before him, I was almost rent in two pieces by two wild beasts. But he sent his angel, and shut up from me the gaping mouths, and rescued my life from destruction. My soul shall glorify him and exalt him, because of all his kindnesses which he has done and will do unto me.